Hello? Hello? Are we live? What's are we up, here? Guys? Hello, hello. What's up, Shark? Shark Vaders? This is a game now. On every video, Shark yells smoke and I yell Shark. <laughs> uh, hello, hello. Uh, are we live? Mic check. There's Manny, LC Manny. Marty, Celtic Moon. Homer's... What did that say? Homer? What? I gotta see that name. Where, where'd, my, where'd my cursor go? Homer Demand. Okay, I got you. Uh, fractured, hello. Allison Rose. Alessandra. <laughs> so, Corey Daniel. K Doves. What's up? Amanda Duncan. Jessica Shook. There's uh, Dustin. There's Zombie Drive Gaming. What's up, Cuh? What's up, brother? <laughs> Celtic Moon. Long time no see. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Roger. Living My Rhapsody. Carts. Ocean Mists. Um, there's my phone. Coach O'Shea. What's up, Coach? Uh, Hoonja. What's up? What's up? Bobby. Hello. Hello. Lone John Lannister, what's up? Kelly Gant, I hadn't seen Lone John Lannister's name. Dallas Robinson, The Last Dragon, ah, uh, Bruce Leroy. Uh, Matthew Hernandez, Claire Chandler, uh, blah, what does that say? Uh, Brooklyn Girl, I believe, 67? I think that's right. Carrie Nebus, LC Manny's back, there's Diane Beans, and Nightbot is here. Nightbot mm -hmm. is in the house. What's up, everybody? So, um... I guess we're doing our usual stream, but I wanted to unbox this bad boy. This is going to be we'll, fun. We'll do it here in a few minutes. But yeah, this new Game of Thrones Culture Fly box that I just got. I know a couple people have unboxed it already, but um, <clears throat> I will unbox that here in a minute. I want to see what's in it. I'm excited about it. And uh, for anybody that wants a Culture Fly box, just to really quickly mention this, there is a link in the description. You can go use that link and out. That supports the channel. It's an affiliate thing, but it's very cool. It is. You know, I only support stuff here that I use myself, as you can see. So, uh, very cool stuff. The first one was really good with the uh, Jamie Lannister of Mitt. I suspect at Con you'll see a lot of those hands uh, for Jamie think, Jamie cosplay. Uh, it's yes, perfect. I, I mean, so it's too. already there, right? Uh, Dakote, hello. What's up, man? Uh, so, let's see. Um, any filming? Oh, by the way, Amanda Duncan, if you're in here. Thank you, Amanda. I got your Dead by Daylight shirt. Thank you so much. If That's you can so see that, cool. yeah, this is what a uh, game I stream a lot on on Twitch, and uh, Ma Amanda plays now. And she sent me this Dead by Daylight shirt. Death is not an escape. Very cool. Thank you, Amanda Duncan. And you were showing me that um, alpha. What I was going to oh, say beta. Uh, uh, the, the alpha of that? um. That's pretty cool. Death Garden. Death Garden. Death yes. Garden is a new game from the same studio that's coming out. It's in alpha right now. It looks interesting. I don't know. It. it we'll see. It's kind of it's kind of cool looking, but it's it's also odd at the same time, I guess. But it's another match based cool game. I, I'll I'll play around with it, maybe throw it on Twitch sometime when it comes out. Maybe I'll apply for the Alpha. Amanda Duncan game. says I didn't send you that Chris. Uh, smoke screen. No, Stewart. I mean Stewart. Did, did I say Duncan? You might have. I, I think I said Stewart the first time. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, but thank you anyway, Amanda Duncan, for for <laughs> yeah for everything for every, everything else. No, I think I said Amanda Stewart, right? I don't. I don't see her in here though. She's usually on. I know she's on Twitch every night um, when I stream. So, anyway, Amanda Stewart. If I didn't say that correctly, I'm sorry, Amanda. But thank you anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got we got a lot of Manders, as I call them. Uh, all your all you guys. Uh, let's see. So Game of Thrones stuff. Um, there's no real news uh, except for I mentioned in a short video this week. Jacken was seen. Um, Look, I guess I should say spoiler warning, but I think this is a troll. That's why it's not really a spoiler. Uh -huh. This is a troll move. Uh, Jacken was seen taking pictures with fans, and uh, um, I did a little short video on it, what it could mean. What's up, Mizuma? Cobra Kai, yes, I love it. I love it, Mizuma. Uh, watch out, Mizuma. It's too many caps. There. I might about to grab you. Um, yes, we love Cobra Kai. Yes, indeed. Uh, I, want, I may actually talk about it on the channel, for, like maybe do a season review or episode by episode. I don't know. It's worth talking about. It really is. It really is. Uh, and if young people would watch the, the movie, the first one, original, just they don't need a second one, do they? They just need the first one. As long as they get the first one, the first two maybe, then that's all you need to know, you know, to watch that show. Really good. Really good show. Um, but, yeah, that, that's the only Game of Thrones news was uh, Jacken, but they, he seemed a little too eager to take pictures with fans. And they were, you know, they did Shay in season six. They brought her back and put her in a... Right. And had people take... Well, she waved at the cameras. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. It's a trick. It's a trick. Uh, <laughs> Aconda, man is not a troll. A man is no one. Yes, no one troll. No, no one's trolling everybody, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it could have been. It could have been Diane Harris, Jack Barrett on vacation. It looks like they were having a big get-together for all the cast people is what it looked like to me. I don't know. Maybe it was uh, – maybe is Kit Harrington getting married anytime? I know he's inviting everybody from Game of Thrones to that wedding, so I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't buy it. I don't buy that he's going to be – I mean, this would be a book thing, not a show thing. How, how would he fit in if he did? You'd have to tie, like I was saying in that video, and I just throw it out there as an idea. You'd mm-hmm. have to tie in a faceless man, a, a, a faceless man thread, to tie in with the end game Night King stuff. Like they're they're both death, you know what I mean? And that's what I was saying in that video. Oh. I think a lot of people took that as, I think the Night King or the the faceless man. This was the video two days ago. No, Friday. Yeah, from Friday. Yeah, I haven't had a chance. to Yeah, watch that. Uh, I was just saying it's just an idea. Like, or the, 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 does he inadvertently support the Night King? Not, I, but I don't mean directly. Yeah, I don't mean like he's gonna go out there and fight beside him. Right. You know, or, or <laughs> I'm saying because you know they he, they're a death cult. Exactly. And he brings death. Uh, yeah, that's it. So anyway, the gift of death. The gift of death. So it's just an idea. It's just an idea. I just throw it out there because. It was uh, it was just an idea. I thought maybe there's something, some book thing there, some connection. But the show, I, I don't, I don't think so. Amanda Kane says, "Y'all talking about Amanda?" Uh, yes, Amanda Kane. We were talking about all the Amandas. Amanda, uh, Amanda Stewart sent me this shirt, and I think I may have said, I think I, I know I said Amanda Stewart one time. I, I may have said the other Amanda Duncan a minute ago. I'm not sure. <laughs> Or maybe she just heard Amanda like you, see? Maybe she just heard Amanda and just heard, oh, That's right. ears perked up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, okay, so let's grab a couple. We'll, we'll get this box unboxing in, in a minute. My let's, sister's name's Amanda, by the way. Yes, she is. Uh, and a poker player, from what I remember. Yep. From what I remember. I hadn't seen her in a while. Uh, all right, let's grab a couple on Patreon here. K-Dubs. What's up, K-Dubs? Thank you so on? much, man. Um, let's see. Hello, fellas. I know you think the dragons have to die, but I don't remember hearing how you think the dragons will die. Thoughts? Also, you, also, you gave birth to your YouTube channel, so happy Mother's Day to you both. Oh, Pussies. <laughs> That's the K-Dubs. That's right. I know. Thank you, K-Dubs. Happy Mother's Day to you. I'm sure you character. gave birth to something. <laughs> something. <laughs> something horrible. Something fucking something tough from hell. Mean. Some dark... Entity, I don't know. Um, but yes, um, uh, here's the thing though, K-Dubs. I don't know if we ever said uh, that they have to die, but we were questioning that. Mm-hmm. Because they are magical in a sense. I think they enhance magic. But if you, if you kill the source, like we're talking about the, the God's Eye, right. I don't know that it would just automatically kill something already born and eating. And yeah, You know what I mean? specifically talked about so that. So yep. I will say that I don't think they're going to all make it out. Um, at least, i got to say, at least one's going to die in a... In a dragon v dragon Night King battle, yep. I think that's the way one's got to go. And unfortunately, his is already dead. So yes. To see how that plays out. Now we do think that one would die if the magic died. Yes, because yeah, right. it is reanimated by exactly. magic. By exactly. Magic. Absolutely. So yeah, I, I do think that at least one more has to go. Maybe we'll we'll keep one. You know, Regal. That's what. That's or something. What I would pick. Drogon. Yep. I would say Regal based off Rhaegar. I don't know. Maybe he dies because he is named Ra- after Rhaegar. I don't know. Yes. So um, I would think at least Kyle won in a dragon versus dragon, Dance of the Dragons, midair type thing, or at least die from wounds from that or something. Um, uh, let's see. Karen Gates. Thank you, Karen, on Patreon. Uh, by the way, people, I uh, just want to throw this out there for Patreon people and anybody interested in joining Patreon. Um, there is a new thing coming with the executive producers and above. We're going to do a monthly call. I was talking to a couple guys the other day. And we're a monthly call where we actually discuss, like, I mean, like, legitimately the direction of this channel and other things, the gaming channel, the vlog stuff, the Twitch stuff, and, some, and the book stuff coming and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. that will be something going on for executive producers and above if anybody's interested. That's really cool stuff. Like, actual executive producers, like, input. You know, not just, ultimately, obviously, I make the decision, but right. you know what I mean. Serious input and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, help help with the direction. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, Chris. so not just a, a labeling an executive producer, but at really actually producing the thing, uh, yep. and, or at least as far as directions of things. And um, I will say I'm getting back to the book. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. I was flowing the other night a little bit with some writing. Ooh, uh, you hadn't even seen I that yet, wait. a little bit of it. Um, so that's going to be a thing on Patreon for sure. I'm going to start looking into, as I get more chapters done, uh, how to pre-promote and stuff like that. So Patreon's going to be involved in that as well, where I release a little bit of stuff here and there for damn sure and get feedback. I need proofreaders. 
that will be at a, 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 level, a higher level, I think, but uh, I still want to get actual, honest critique and feedback. Hey, YB Negative wants to know where they can buy this hat. Why be negative? Uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked. That's another thing. Uh, on Teespring, the Teespring store is where you, you're, you're supposed to be able to get it. You cannot get the damn fitted, the, the one we have, or they're only two in existence. It's so crazy. I, I set this up before Con last year and bought the two for us, and yep. then they ran out of stock as far as the this new era brand, stretchy kind of fitted hat, but they do have snapbacks on there. So I have not found a new company yet to, they, they said they were going to get them back, but they never have. So I'm going to have to find another place to do these uh, smoke screen hats, uh, the fitted regular kind. They are, there are snapbacks on there, and I guess you can bend the bill, but they're regular open back, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you can you can get those on the, on the Teespring store, and all those links are in every description. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad somebody asked. I meant to to update everybody. Now, I'm, as soon I damn, as these I, are available again, we'll let you know. Absolutely, yeah. I've been looking all the time, and they're still. If you go, you can you actually click it, and it, it won't let you select a size. That means it's out of stock. Right. And uh, they don't seem to be in a hurry, obviously, to get them back, which pisses me off because that was a big thing here was hats. So anyway, I will be updating some uh, stuff on Teespring as well. That's what I was going to say. Uh, so a few new designs. Um, Doc Holiday and I are going to get together about the executive producer t-shirts on Patreon. So we'll be doing that as well. Just an update for that Patreon as well. And so uh, we'll get all that straightened out. I got a whole list of shit going on. So I need, I need a big whiteboard like we were talking about. I need to paint like one wall whiteboard. Exactly. Uh, for the book stuff and for the channel stuff. We keep stuff. talking about that. We I mean, keep, it's going to be cool. Uh, really, I think. So maybe just back. Uh, maybe I just paint again and we'll just have it behind us. I don't know. Or somewhere. And that'll be our new background. Just whiteboard where you see notes <laughs> scribbled in and maps drawn out for books. It's going to be really cool. Anyway, that'll be cool. Um, let's see. Caring Gates. It helps keep it, it does, fresh on your mind. It, it, right. It does. You can just, oh, and walk up and put the note right there. Exactly. And just, it, there's nothing like a good old whiteboard. That's right. Uh, Karen Gates on Patreon. Thank you, Karen. With the shortened season, with the long episodes, how compressed do you think the timelines will be? Months passing between episodes, etc., to cover travel times and such. I think things will have to move very quickly, especially if things really going uh, to end at the Isle of Faces. I do too. I, I to, to a degree, I think that's certainly uh, possible that they speed it up. Why is my phone on not silent? On <laughs> not on silent. Um, but yeah, I think, um, it depends. It depends how, how long the episodes are, because if they do them like feature length, like Paula Fairfield said last year at con, you know, you're talking about an hour, hour, 20 minutes, hour 15 each. So they may not have to do as much, you know, uh, time travel, you know, it's essentially, but with the shortened, I think as the, the world's getting smaller. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean? Right. They're coming to Winterfell, so now really Winterfell between Winterfell and King's Landing, that's really all you got left. So there's not gonna be it's as much like travel. This game you play. It is. <laughs> yeah, that's that is true. Fucking uh Fortnite. The storm's getting bit smaller and shrinking, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. they're not gonna have to travel as much, but I think, you know, at least in the couple, first couple episodes, that's certainly a possibility. That like um like for example, it went off John and them were on the boat, they're going yeah. to White Harbor. They're not going to show them riding from White Harbor to Winterfell. They're just going to show up at Winterfell. Obviously, that's going to be months. So, yeah, that type of stuff, uh, uh, sure. But uh depends on the length, and the world is getting smaller as far as where they need to you know, be together and, and fight and all that stuff. Uh, Mother of Dragon on Patreon, thank you. Just unboxed mine last night, so she's talking about the Culture Fly box here. Sweet. We'll get to that here in a few. Uh, cool. I look forward to seeing what's in it. Hopefully, it's as good as the first one. Uh, Mizuma 10K, thank you, Mizuma. Hello, Chris and James. Thanks for all the work. Also wondering when you're going to talk about Cobra Kai. Yes, I, I may do it, actually. I, I seriously talked to James about it. Like, I need to, I mean, it wouldn't be a big audience, I don't think, on YouTube. Right. But it is a YouTube series, so maybe it would be. Maybe they'll help promote that more. I may talk about it, actually. Um, I finished the last two episodes. You still got two? Mm-hmm. I think two mm-hmm. or three to go. So I'll watch those again. They're two short. Two point something. Yeah, you probably. Yeah, wrong. that's true. 2.7 yeah. <laughs> to go. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, uh, uh, Mazuma, if I want to do like a, because that would be one long video or 10 short ones. I think I'd rather do 10 short ones cause, and break it down by exactly. episode. Because I didn't watch it all. We didn't watch it all at once. Like, no. We, we didn't. Like, you could have easily watched it in a night. 30 minutes? They're 30 minute episodes. Hell yeah. Yeah, 26 minutes with a couple commercials, really. So 
Um, I think I'll do it though, Mizuma. I think I'll throw it out there at least for an episode or two and see how it goes. Um, and uh, you, you might have already said this. Forgive me if I zoned out while I was writing notes. Um, that they've already said they're going to be a season two. Yes, you, you did say that. There is a. They did uh, release a little mini tease. They haven't filmed anything, but like right. season two is coming. So. Yep, so that already, makes it worth doing videos. I it, think. I think, I think so. To. I think so. Uh, and I, I, so yeah. There, and I do want to talk about the ending. That I, a couple things bother me. So I'll, I'll probably do that, Mazuma, for sure. Uh, Linda Blowy, hello. Uh, hey, thank you on Patreon. Hello, Chris and James. Haven't received my got boxes yet. Got my got box yet. Oh, oh, you're saying this one? I guess you mean, hmm, Linda. Okay. Uh, I just got it yesterday. Well, uh, picked it up out of the PO box. It got maybe delivered. when we but, open it, you can turn away or something. For yeah, a second yeah. If, if we, if you don't want me to ruin it for you, uh, but yeah, I just got mine yesterday. I got the little text that said it was delivered, and stopped by the uh, the PO box. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to, we'll we'll warn you if you don't want to see it yet. If you want to have the joy, I get it. Believe me, of opening and opening it yourself. Um, Daniel Carter, thank you, Daniel, on thank Patreon. You. Will Winterfell be destroyed? I think it will, and it's not completely, but they're going to have to run. So I, I think it will. I, I think it ends at the God's Eye King's Landing somewhere further south. It's not just going to be they stop there. Nope. And that's their goal, cause, you know, because he's a proto Stark. He wouldn't have known. Any, he don't care about Winterfell, you mm -hmm. know, the, the castle. So I, I don't buy that kind of stuff. So, um, I mean, I do get the, the idea, and I, I don't think there's. Um, any evidence against like the first long night may have ended there, winter mm -hmm. fell, but you don't really right. know the timelines are weird and the, the truth about the timelines. I predict uh, we'll see Winterfell episode one, obviously, and then um, not again to episode six. Yeah, and I believe uh, Val did a good breakdown on one of her videos about the directors again, her sleuthing videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, Miguel Snaposnik is doing two. I believe it's episode three. I want to say I want to say three and no three and five, so because Dan and Dave are doing six themselves. Okay. So big battle probably in three, big battle probably in five because he does great battle. I mean he does great everything, but his bat he's the one that did Battle of the Bastards and Hard Home and all oh, that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you, you can kind of predict based off of what he's based on those. He, <laughs> there's going to be big battles, and the first one's got to be up north, right? Right, just by, based off where they're at. So, and you said that was what? Two? I think it's. I think it's. I want to say three and five. I could be. It could so be two I'm and totally five. Totally wrong. If uh, if I say we're only gonna see a Winterfell in episode yeah, one. Yeah, it could be two and five though. I could be. I don't know. So I, you're I saying know. probably uh, Winterfell that one and, and the King's Landing. King's Landing. That does make sense. Whatever, yeah. whether it's Cersei or Night King or both, would probably be the second one. The big finale. Hopefully at the Isle of Faces that we'll see in a flashback uh, because that's what that's another video I put out the week this week was the flashback what will Bran see with uh, Rhaegar cool. and that whole thing the turning of Heron Hall where Hall and Reed came yep. it's a good way to introduce Hall and Reed or reintroduce him uh, and then bring up the God's Eye it would take a five minute vision and boom it's there yeah that's all we need to see is the history um, anyway. Uh, Daniel Carter, will Winterfell be destroyed? Oh, that's what I just read. Sorry, thank you, Daniel. Um, sorry about that. Uh, Randy Suimatsu, is Bran really Bernard? <laughs> yes. Uh, Westworld reference there. I have not seen this week's yet, damn it. I got to watch it after this. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, so I don't know if there's something going on in episode three. Did I, I'm, I'm missing something there, Randy? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But uh, maybe. <laughs> it's confirmed. Because you know what that you know people he did bring in uh, or George R. R. Martin said it would it would thought it'd be cool to be a crossover, but I'm like no 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 let's not do the West World the Game of Thrones is a park, well, don't do that please it that sounds cool, but you really don't want to see that <laughs> uh, where it's all bullshit. Uh, <laughs> Terrence Sadell uh, Hart says sounds like I'm almost like I'm saying wiener feel. <laughs> Does it? Does Here we it? go. No, I don't hear that at all. Winterfell. Winterfell. I, I, Winterfell. Wienerfell. Wienerfell. <laughs> Wienerfell. Winterfell. Winterfell. There's the difference. I mean, I don't know. Now watch. K-Dubs will have us something to say here shortly. He'll have us a sentence there for us Southern boys. Okay. Uh, Daniel Carter. Thank you, Daniel, again um, on Patreon. Yeah, I definitely believe it uh, at the end. The God's Eye. I uh, learned that theory from you quite some time ago. I was just wondering what state of the castle will be in, but thanks for your answer. Yeah, Daniel, I do think it will get, I don't think, like, it's going to be rebuilt. I think there's going to be a rebuilding kind of scene after. That's the one the reason I said episode six. We'll see yeah. it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Based yeah. on what we I talked so. about it, that last episode, at least 
the last what half of it is going to be that. Yeah, you got to see some rebuilding mm -hmm. after whatever happens, however it ends, regardless. All right, let me check uh, Streamlabs really quick, and I'll jump in the regular chat. First off, thank you, uh, uh, at least people today. Uh, let's thank you, uh, Tom Daly, Devin uh, Tecro, I believe. I may be saying that wrong. Andy Chu, Paul Beach Champ, Amby, Anna Berta, Three-Eyed Robin, uh, Hearn Halter, is that correct? I think that's right. Uh, Roger Rivers for subscribing. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, that. Guys. Uh, and let's see, we got that one. Uh, okay, so we got some super chats also, and I'll grab those in a second. Uh, thank you, Legal Jedi, for the donation on Streamlabs. Appreciate it. Really quick, I'm, I'm th thank you, Legal Jedi, so much. Sis. Uh, here's to you. Cheers. Thank you so much. I'm glad uh, uh, this reminded me. Thank you so much. The, if you notice up in the right hand corner there, since I cannot go to con, James is still going. Now the fundraiser on the screen you see is for Protocon. Any money going to Con of Thrones is now being transferred to Protocon 2019. We're calling it. That's what's going to happen. Day. So just to be clear, if you sent money through Streamlabs, which is always the, the fundraiser side for cons and stuff like that, that money is now going to uh, Protocon stuff. We are going to start talking about it and planning things for next year. Uh, that's the idea anyway. So just to let you know, if you sent money, because I, you know, I originally was going to Con of Thrones before all the softball stuff came up, and the car stuff, by the way, and all that good shit, um, that will be going over towards Protocon stuff now. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Legal Jedi. And let me grab these super chats really quick here before somebody goes to bed. I know we're always late. Uh, thank you, the prince that wasn't promised for the super chat. Sorry, guys, I have to get to sleep. Oh, damn, I hope we didn't miss him. Oh, man. We'll be listening, though. Thanks for everything you guys do and the impact you have on the community. Thank you so much, the Prince that wasn't promised. Really appreciate it. I hope you're you welcome. were still awake to, to at least see me acknowledge your question. I apologize. Uh, but thank you so much. Really, really means a lot. Thank you. Uh, Coulter Grayson. Thank you, Coulter. Thank you. What do you think of John getting Danny pregnant as fulfilling the part of the prophecy stating to wake dragons from stones? Uh, Danny is a dragon who couldn't have children, so her eggs were stone. Um, I think it's a good idea for John. For John's side, because here's the thing: you got Danny and John that fit this right. Mainly, you got other people who can make it fit. Danny literally did it, so everything John is metaphorical. Mm -hmm. So in the books, you have a bleeding star, which is uh, uh, Sir Patrick, and he's got a red star, and he's bloody on his cloak and stuff up at the wall. It's different, obviously, in the show. The show's bleeding star was like probably Dawn. Link here, here comes Kyle Dubs. <laughs> I hear it now. I, I hear Kyle Dubs typing now. <laughs> Don, Don, the sword, Don, Don, Don. Uh, leaned against the bed, you know, had the sun, it was yep. bloody. I think that's the bleeding star for the show. You had John when he woke up, he sat in this east and rose in the west and all that stuff because the way the Castle Black is aligned, they actually had the end from that's north cool. of the wall. So John is the more metaphorical thing. So I think that could work for him as far as, um, I don't know if he'll give us that, you know, acknowledge that or whatever like that's the actual what it means but uh danny's literal she did actually wake dragons from stone petrified eggs yep john could do it this this way metaphorically for sure so i uh, uh, certainly a possibility i think it's a good idea but you gotta if if uh i mean if everything's gotta fit just that that perfect you know what yeah. i mean if you got if all the does. prophecy things where danny you can check them off like she did literally sure, did this literally sure did that can, then yeah. You could check out John's metaphorical side, and that could fit. So it's a good idea, culture. It's absolutely a good idea. Yeah, it sure is up both sides. Exactly. Um, let's see. Sarah Proudfit. Uh, thank you, Sarah. Uh, for Mother's thank Day, you. best mom and worst mom in God, excluding those who die giving birth. Uh, best mom in Gilly. God. Best mom. Yeah, yeah. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. Uh, Sam's mom, even. Uh, yes. But she's tries. She tries a um, lot. Worst mom, Catelyn. I, I mean, waiting. you know that's coming. I was waiting. That's, you know it's Catelyn. Uh, she, I mean, she's fine to her Tully kids, but not, not <laughs> you know. Worst mom, Catelyn. Or Liza uh, uh, could be, I don't know, a little, but probably Catelyn. She, Catelyn, yes, Catelyn. Because John, not his fault. You still, you hated the boy and you blamed him. 
it, Catelyn's worse. What do you, what do you think? Because Cersei's Cersei? a good mom. That's that's what I was. Cersei's weird. not not well. She's not a great mom. But not she great. Loves her kids. Damn sure. She absolutely loves her kids, but she is not as bad as Catelyn. Because mm-hmm. he she didn't hate a kid just because it was Jamie's versus Rob, you know, or whatever. Even if it was the other way around, she would have hated it. Like the one she says she lost. Yes. She didn't hate it because it was Roberts. Like she didn't blame the child, like Catelyn does. <laughs> so. Uh, by the way, Happy Mother's Day! Yeah. We forgot to say that. That's right. We were. Man. I was thinking about it when we sat Dang. down. Yeah, Happy Mother's Day. Happy everybody. Mother's Day to everybody out there. Uh, by the way, um, my mom's riding up the, up the East Coast, so I couldn't even see her today. Sure is. And then I called her. She's like, "I'm asleep." I'm like, "What you asleep so early for? <laughs> Got to get up at six o'clock and ride to South Carolina through South Carolina." Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Uh, she no, does these I, long tricks. She, she's man. crazy. She's fixing to stop at her own place. That to be for great. a night or two. Like so, she just rode from Florida the Keys to her own house in South Carolina. That's crazy. And now they're going to Maine. Like you crazy? She's crazy. Wow. Anyway, Happy Mother's Day, everybody uh, out there. Um, so yeah, I think did we cover that? Best mom, you said Gilly. I agree. A little different than books, though. I don't know if you'll agree with that one. Really? A uh, little little switcheroo goes on. Um, sir, uh, sir, uh, yeah, Catelyn's got to be the worst, I guess. Um, Brienne is one bad mother. Yeah. Okay, that was, that was <laughs> shitty. <laughs> that was weak. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 got you. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll put I'll put some more thought into best moms. There's there's a few good moms, but we both agree. Cersei loved it, her kids to death. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she didn't, you know, she told him stupid shit, mm-hmm. like Joffrey especially. But, yeah, she loves her kids, and she wasn't a horrible, horrible parent. Uh, free US 1776. Thank you. Appreciate it um, for the Thank super chat. Thank you so much. Are you excited for Solo, a star, <laughs> soy low, a soy, a soy war story? I don't know that. Uh, no, I am not. Is that Solo? Yes. <laughs> I am not. I really, I'm just not. I thought when I first saw the trailer, I was like, okay, you know, and then it's got Amelia Clark, you know, Danny's in it, and she's gorgeous, uh, love her, and, uh, but it's no. It's supposed to be the best Chewbacca film. I, I, I do like Chewbacca. I'd like to see it for that. I, I just, but I know the story. It's like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see it, but I mean, I'm not, I'm just not like super pumped about it because mm-hmm. I know his whole backstory from Legends or whatever. Now they call it Legends. So I'm not really, and I hate to say that, but I'm just telling you, The Last Jedi just absolutely killed it for me. And I hope they redeem themselves. Maybe it'll be great. Um, but they got to fix episode nine first. If they fix episode nine or at least like um, overwrite some Ryan Johnson shit that happened mm-hmm. in Last Jedi, then I'll, I'll have a little hope maybe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, these side stories, mm-hmm. man. They, you know, like I like Rogue One, um, so this was probably be fine. But I'm, I just, I'm just not excited about Han Solo being the first solo film. I don't know. A lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. That was funny. Well, <laughs> the first solo. That is true. I did not even think about it. I was trying to be punny. <laughs> I was all planned. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Dan Carter. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, thanks for everything. Uh, I'm Daniel yeah, Daniel Carter on Patreon. Uh, I generally feel for you guys are great, and your theories are spot on, in my opinion. Hello from Ireland. Thank you so much. Thank what, you. What were you what was, I was just saying, your theories oh, are spot no, on. No, no, not, not all not all of them. But uh, thank you so much, Dan. I really appreciate it, and for your Patreon support. Uh, Onyx Rose. Thank you so much, Onyx Rose. Don't forget Cersei had Robert's Bastards Killed. Great point. That is that is true. That is true. Um, yeah, I mean, but she still loves her kids. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I got to try to justify Catelyn <laughs> remaining in that spot. Uh, that is true. A little different from, uh, yeah, from the show a little bit, a little bit different. Uh, and as far as Lysa, what were you saying about her? I well, mean, you know, she's kind of a helicopter mom. Sweet, yeah, it's it's not horrible, but like Sweet Robin still nursing at yeah. you know eighteen years old. She's hurting him <laughs> by overloving him and yeah, don't realize. Yeah, it. Right, yeah, but she don't. But she's not at yeah, But she don't hate him or you know what I mean. So yeah, I, mean, I, I guess she's. It's still not Catelyn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris G. I have, oh, Chris G. Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while, Chris G. Haven't What's seen that? the Last Jedi. Uh, don't bother. I'm just. I mean, I mean, well, no, you should. You should see it to see what they've done. You should see it to see what they've done to the story. Um, 
Let's see, the last dragon in the regular chat here. Uh, Q&A, do you think Kyburn works for Varys as a spy? I also do think Euron is the Valonqar. I like this idea of Kyburn working for Varys. I really do. Uh, now, who had a video on this the other day? Somebody had a video, and I, I saw a little part of it that basically said that. Was it Teflon or Great Area? I like this idea. I do. Um, I think the books, there's a little... Maybe maybe not in the book so much because you got some different things that happen. I won't spoil anything. Right. I'll just say there may be a Dornish connection with Kyburn, and then uh, Varys does a few couple things in the well, one big thing in the books to help Aegon before he gets there. But the show, I kind of like that idea that the ver birds are still his. I was saying that before, and uh, that at any time that you know he could whisper something and boom. You know, the mountain's turning on Cersei or something. But I, I don't know. The Night King may take that role. I know. That's, that's, you know, that's going to be neat to see how it, that yeah, plays how out. How that plays out. How if he starts to get affected by by yeah. being a dead man. He thinks he's got this Manchurian candidate. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't um, also, as far as the Euron piece, uh, in the I think it's certainly possible for a Valonqar. I still think in the in the books, at least, it's Jamie. Um, I think Euron's certainly a good candidate in the show. They could do that in the show because they didn't mention the Valonqar piece in the show. So I think it's possible to be really anybody. Um, I would still prefer it to be Jamie because they could still do a little shout out to the Valonqar thing without having mm -hmm. Maggie the Frog say it, you know? Because they're not going to do another Maggie flashback where she hears another part of it because she already ran out the damn tent, you know, yeah, or the, exactly. the, the shack. Exactly. We were talking about that they before. Can't do that. So uh, I think it's a good, a good possibility being the little brother and he's, uh, you know, He's a he's a bad, bad, evil, twisted, sick freak in the books, especially that wants to be a god. And he's already killed some brothers and stuff. So uh, I think it's a possibility. I will not say no just because I want it to be Jamie. I think Jamie is more poetic, but yeah, because it's right under her nose and she thinks it's Tyrion. But I will not uh, say it will not be. You know, Euron. I think it's a good possibility. All righty, let's see. Um. <laughs> Homer, the man, uh, they they did already on the boat. Uh, they they uh, they he rode the dragon <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> uh, well, and she rode the dragon too, I guess. Uh, you know, uh, so. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Diane Harris. This is a good question, Diane. Do you think that we will see a flashback of Ned bringing baby John to Winterfell? That's interesting. Um, I don't know if we need to see that. You know what I mean? I don't, like, because then you have to have a young Catelyn there, and you'd have to. You'd have yeah. to have the Catelyn going, what the hell? Well, who's this? Yeah. You know, and all that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't think in the show we'd see that. Maybe a book thing when, when the confirmation comes, and whether it's Winds of Winter or Dream of Spring, I'm assuming Winds of Winter, that'll, that confirmation happens. But... Um, in the show, I wouldn't think so. I just don't think it's there. Like we we're talking about the time thing earlier. Yep. It's just not going to move it forward. We already know he he was there, uh, and and Ned, you know, kept a secret and all that. So I don't know if we need to see that. I think we need to see brand flashbacks relating to the first long night and stuff like that. Uh, that's my uh, just my opinion. So I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. I wonder how she felt when he brought Theon back. He'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Stop bringing these yeah, bastards over yeah, here. Yeah, from the yeah, exactly. But no, he's just a ward. Yeah, he's just a ward. <laughs> he's not an older <laughs> yeah. older bastard. He's not another one. We, I he's he's hostage. Look, we had to go stop the rebellion, the Greyjoy rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is true. That is true. He did bring a few extra kids <laughs> on. Uh, but he's he had been there a while. I mean, he was he, not well, not not too long. Uh, let's see. Slope said, thank you, Slope, for the super chat. Um, are you planning on Protocon before or after season eight? We're thinking right after. We're thinking after season eight, uh, Slope, but we're not 100% sure yet. Yeah, I um, think that would be good. We also had an idea of, in our local area, maybe maybe doing a a season like the finale rewatched all together oh, in awesome. a local, perhaps, place. Uh, we'll, talk, we'll get into all the details. We'll, we're, we're thinking, though, probably after the season, uh, so we can kind of go back over everything with no spoiler warnings and all that kind of stuff. Because uh, it will be rushed uh, probably before the season. This is going to take a lot of stuff to figure out, too. So uh, that's what we're thinking initially anyway. But, again, nothing's written down in stone yet. So don't hold me to that. But we're thinking probably after the season. All righty. 
Yes, Diane, I blame Callan for everything, too. Because <laughs> she, she absolutely calls everything. It's all her fault. Uh, Maureen, please tell me again, uh, Cersei doesn't rule after everyone dies. Uh, lol, I'll have nightmares. Yes, uh, d I, th that can't happen. That cannot happen. Absolutely not. Uh, that would be hard. That would be one of those, no, really, they just, the Night King died and Cersei won. No, no, <laughs> don't do that. That would be almost as bad as John not finding out his parents or, uh, yeah, yeah, can't happen. Can't happen. Uh, Could you imagine how many letters George R. R. Martin would get that had been cut out of magazines oh, and newspapers? Oh, yeah. You, could you imagine that? I'm serious. You're absolutely right. You're going to die. Yeah, I'm telling you. It would be, that. yeah, it, on Twitter and, and his new website, which is now, he moved his not a blog blog to his own website now. I mean, it would be shut down. It'd be DDoS attacks and <laughs> hacked up. You know what I mean? They, I didn't think about that. Yeah. They would. I'm telling you right now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, good night, Diane Harris. Good Thank night. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Chris G., this is a good point. Uh, at this point, I don't know how flashbacks can add to the storyline. That's what I was saying in that video uh, that I was talking about this week, Chris, was that, um, you know, what do we, we need Brand to see. The only thing we need to mm -hmm. see is if he, whatever information he's got to get about the first long night and how they stop the Night King. Correct. We don't have to see Tony of Heron Hall. It doesn't matter. Except I was saying if it does fit with the end game, that's a good way. That's all I was saying was it's a good way to introduce Hall and Reed back into the story. Yes. And where he came from. Right. Right before that, the turning. To me, is key uh, for that. Yeah. So I think uh, I think. That's really the only thing we need to see. But the other things would be just icing if they got have time to do it. But I think that would be a perfect opportunity to introduce to God's eye. It really would. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, is that Skeezly? S. Yes, Skeezly? I think Skeezly, I think that's saying it right. Thank you, Skeezly. Uh, Chris, I have a question. Do you think that John's true parentage will be revealed to him? I also think maybe he might not ever find out, and yet he will still be elected to rule the kingdom's bittersweet. We've talked about this. We season. have, and this would drive me insane. I will say, as long as the Night King is revealed to whatever be a proto Stark or whatever yep. connection there, why he's back, I'll be. That's, that's easier that's, pill to swallow. It's as, exactly. Uh, it's John not finding out is easier than that. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it, like, I would. I want him to find out absolutely because I want to see his shock and all. Mm -hmm. I want to see him like, what the hell? I want, he's going to be mad for a while. He's going to be weirded out by the whole Danny thing. Right. She's going to be weirded out. It's, it's, you, it's, you got to have that dynamic, I think. So I think he will. But yes, it would be horrible for me if he didn't, um, personally. But again, if we have to choose, you got i got to know why the Night King's back. That, that's, that's all there is to it. So I, I would hate that, but I could see it. It would fit, you know, it would fit with his style. Like, he never finds out, but we all know. And in the books, you close the book. There's no more pages. You know what I mean? Uh, or no show, or whatever. So yeah, I would hate it, but it could happen. I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt it. <coughs> but again, I, I, well, I guess I do doubt it a little bit because I think we do have to see that between John and Danny. Like when she finds out, shit, I'm in love with my my nephew. Yeah. So, yeah, you kind of got to do that almost now, don't you? Don't you? I think you do. Pretty sure you do. I feel like I might be misremembering something. We talk, Did we talk about Danny's deformed baby before? And you said that... We've mentioned it. You, uh, were, we've mentioned you weren't it. sure if... I mean, like, only one person saw the baby. Yeah, uh, apparently Miriam Osdur right. is the only one who said that. We never saw it, right? Right. So... Do you think with the wings Danny should shit? tell John that, like, while she's mm. pregnant, like you know, I just oh. want you to be prepared for something. In the past, I have had. That is true. That is true. Uh, yeah, I baby. mean, it depends on if she actually believes that or not. You know, because mm -hmm. we never saw it. Um, Miriam Osdur said that, but I mean, why would she say that? You know, does she? I mean. She may have knew who she was. I don't that's, you know. But that's what it would have to be. I mean, you know, she'd have right. to, to describe it that way. I she mean, described it anyway. Even in because this is not high fantasy. So even in this world of magic, 
you know, we got blood magic and dragons coming back and all yeah. that. Would is that even possible for her to have a, a hybrid? Because it was Drogo, Drogo's son. That's right. So it wouldn't. So was it just like to foreshadow dragon, actual dragons? So we don't really know if that actually happened, but I would think it'll be interesting. You know, hey, like just if, by the way, just you know, I lost a baby one time and it had wings and shit. Yeah, because like if it was high <laughs> fantasy, you'd be like people be wondering if it's going to be born with wings and yes, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. So, that oh, is man, true. That is true. Awesome yeah, that's looking. that's interesting. I may have to go back and check out that chapter again and re, you know, kind of see if there's any kind of yeah, do that. Because yeah, that's interesting. I don't what, know. What made me think of it is the fact that they're related, and that increases the chances of having right and more dragon genes. Right, you know exactly. Yeah, so now you throw that in the mix. Now, not only are we related, and we could have something wrong. We both have this dragon gene. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, that's true. That is true. There could be some uh, bittersweet thing there with the, uh, I don't know. That'd be weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how far that goes into high fantasy. And is that possible? You know, know what I mean? I don't know. Because there's never been any of that in the past with Targaryens marrying. You know what I mean? They've always married. So, but Like you said, why would you pick that? If she's going to make up that, something. That's true. That is true. Absolutely. That's, I don't know. I'm sorry to interrupt, but yeah. Let no, me know what you find it's, out. It's a good question. It's a good question. Uh, all right, let's look, grab a couple more of these on Patreon, then we'll take a stretcher and come back and unbox this Heck and yeah. do some more questions. Uh, Coach O'Shea, Hans, thank you so much on Patreon. Q&A, do you guys think during the Winterfell battle the Crips are going to be in the um, be the way some will get out? Yes. Yep. I do. I think there are passages to get out there. It's a lot older than Winterfell and bigger. Bigger, yeah. So it, I absolutely do. And that may be the the, the maybe... Maybe the John dreams and stuff, or you know, he's being called down there. Probably parentage related in the books, but maybe that's another thing. Another like another oh, reason, I, yeah. I need to go down here because I need to know this exit. You know, so Dude. yeah, I think I think so. I think you're dead on, uh, Hans. Absolutely. Um, it's, here we go. Here's K Doves. I, I I know there's something here about pronunciation, <laughs> ain't there? There gotta be. All right, no, seriously. Thank you, Kyle. Um, simple question. I might be missing something, but why can't the Night King change the past? Um, I don't know if he, I, I don't know. I don't know if he, uh, I don't think he has, I think he's got the power, you know, being whether he was a green seer or just him being created, gave him access to wherewood.net. But I don't, I don't know if he has the, the knowledge or know-how or whatever that is to be able to go back and do things like yeah. Bran can. Like, cause the Night King doesn't go up and touch wherewood trees we know of. He destroys them. Like, he didn't give a shit about that cave. That's right. That's right. You know, you would have thought that he could have, like, grabbed on a branch and would have seen a little Good something, point. you know. To, but So, we don't know. We really just don't know, especially in the books. But, uh, but the show hadn't give any hadn't give, given us any indication that he can yeah. do anything via Wherewood.net besides be in the vision with Bran and interact with him physically. And interact physically, and, yeah. And, and then in the real world, he knows when Bran's warging and stuff like that. So, he's definitely tapped into it. But there's no indication that he wouldn't even know how or if he can do things like Bran as far as, like, plugging into it. I guess he could, you know. If he's plugged into it, he's, you know, he's, act, he's got access. Yeah. But, like, how do you do it? Like, what's the, what's the method? Does he know that, you know? Uh, otherwise, you just got, like, um, almost two brands, just one bad one. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so you got to have different superpowers, I guess, yeah. you know. So I guess that's probably... Basically, the the answer. I don't, I don't really know though. It's a good question. Oh yeah. yeah. So you can make your dad hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Run up the steps, <laughs> grab him. Yeah, that's right. Ned's like, what the fuck? Yeah. You see Ned going <laughs> in the fucking past. That would be worth a flashback to go back there <laughs> to see Ned getting his ass kicked by a fucking ghost. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see. He just beat. Sir, well, he, he didn't beat Sir Arthur Dane, I guess. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> that was uh, cheating. Uh, K Dubs again. Okay, here we go. Here it was something here. <laughs> here we go. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All right. All right, Kyle Dubs. <laughs> Y'all crazy as hell if you don't think Celise is the worst mother. No. Yes. I, that's what I was trying to think about that earlier, Kyle. I did mean to mention Celise. Yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> From the dawn of time, from winter... Well, now, see, he's got it spelled this way. <laughs> yeah. He Okay, from the dawn of time, from Winterfell... See, you spelled it that way, so I'm, <laughs> I'm reading it that way. From Winterfell to the Wall, no mother 
no mother has ever mothered so motherfucking horribly that child burning Shireen heading woman. That is the answer. Wiener, wiener, chicken, diener. <laughs> you're right. You're right. No that is true. Joke, uh, she let it happen. Stannis let it happen. That, Ultimately, though. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, that was horrible. That is true. That is true. But the thing is, is I wasn't shocked by that. I, I don't. I just. I saw that coming a mile away, and that was supposedly this big twist, you know. And I was like, really? That was the. That was the twist in the, the third tw- or second twist. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, know, I know what you're saying. Because as soon as yeah. Melisandre said, no, she must come with us, I was like, oh, shit, she's dead. I mean, that was I, So anyway, yeah, you're right, K, uh, K-Dubs. I mean, that was, she's definitely, uh, yeah, she she did kill her, essentially let her daughter be killed. So it blood on, blood's on her hands, too. And Stannis's. And Stannis's. Um, so uh, I guess that is that is true. Uh, you, would you like to read that just for fun? I don't yeah. know. I mean, if you want to, I'm not. Y'all saying. crazy as hell if you don't think Celise <laughs> is the worst mother from the dawn of time, from Wienerfell to the Wall. <laughs> no mother has ever mothered so motherfucking horribly as that child burning Shireen Hayton woman. That is the answer. Wiener, wiener, chicken dinner. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's for uh, the amusement of the people. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> there you go for. Your redneck, uh, well, I could have went full redneck there. Uh, Doc Holiday, thank you, Doc Holiday. Um, from Blood Rose, Stark, uh, Q&A. Okay, so Doc's grabbing okay, questions from, from the bl- chat, I yeah. think. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm rewatching. but thank you, uh, Blood Rose. Uh, I'm rewatching Beyond the Wall, and I'm still wondering what John was going to say when he said you don't understand. Also, why Benjamin said there's no time to get away for him or what. Exactly. This has been a big thing. And I did a separate video on this two, three, four weeks ago, five, I don't know, I'm, I'll lose track, um, about what that possibly meant. And it, it don't make a lot of sense cause it, I, yeah. because it's like he knows that you kill a White Walker and they all drop. Right. Like we called that. We, exactly. We called that a year and something ago. So it's like when he said you go for him and you know, we, we don't have to focus on the Whites, we go for them, then they'll all fall. He was like, no, you don't understand. And then he got interrupted. It's like, why would you, what can he be possibly saying? Yeah. So it was either like, wait, but you got, you don't understand. Danny's on her way. Or if we do that, then she won't be able to get us all, you know? So yeah. it could have been something that simple. And it, so, I guess it probably was because he wouldn't say that if he knew, you know what I mean? He knows the truth. That's right. So maybe he's saying, you don't understand. Let's wait till we get dragons up here and get out of here. And then we at least know that for next time. Because otherwise, there'd have been a big battle. They'd have been scattered. People would have died. You know what I mean? I, I guess. So it's that hard is, to say. It, it is hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, and then the Benjamin thing, it was complete just bullshit. There was plenty of time. They both hopped on the horse. He had to wait 15 minutes for them to catch up to him after John rode off. Yeah. He was just standing like, <laughs> you know, come on. Just get on the damn horse get on with him. The horse. Get on the Keep horse. Him warm. What's in the box? <laughs> Get on. Get on the horse. <laughs> That's exactly. So anyway, thank you, Blood Rose. I don't get the binging thing either. They just had to kill him off. That's really what it was about. Uh, so they would never answer the question uh, if he because wa- he would have couldn't go through the wall right. at the time. So it was really you'd have to wait for it to fall. And he, what's he going to do by himself? You know, up there with all those thousands of of whites. So I, I guess. I guess. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Um, uh, free USA. Thank you, uh, for the super chat. Uh, odds Ray trains ghost Luke in the force, uh, in the force in episode nine. <laughs> oh man. I, I tell you what, man, uh, there's no telling. I, I just don't know. I don't know where JJ Abrams heads at. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt any of that crap. Um, as you can see, I'm always flustered about Star Wars because I was so disappointed. Yeah, I don't know. I hope they try to rescue it. I hope J.J. tries to rescue it and, and undo, like, make... I, I won't spoil anything. Did J.J. Escape, put himself out there, or did they approach him? Like, did he say, I'm a lifelong fan, I would love to do this? Yeah, I don't know. Like, originally, for yeah. episode seven, I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think probably from his, uh, his I all can't his imagine a lifelong fan Star Trek doing stuff and all that things, too. Um, yeah, now, but see, episode seven was even though it was a copy. Yeah, of episode four, yeah. it didn't break anything. It didn't. You know what I mean? 
Gotcha. Eight broke everything. Gotcha. Uh, so so hopefully he rescue he can rescue. I don't know, but I don't I don't know where Catholic Kennedy's heads at. I don't know where his heads at. I just don't know. It seems to be a big political thing to me. So um, anyway, anyway. All right, let's see. We are going going an hour already, so we'll take a stretcher here in a second, and then come back and unbox this really quick. We got yeah, uh, Russell Fulton. Thank you, Russell, Thank you. for the super chat. In the end, Danny will die. Sansa will die. John will live, but won't want the throne. Uh, Sam and Tyrion will put forward Davos as prime minister type of thing, as he has diplomacy thoughts. We do think, uh, we've said this, we, there, I don't think you'll immediately see like a prime minister. Right. But you will see some, at least, at least them talking about change in the government. I think the Iron Throne has melted down. I think whether Danny's still alive or not, she wants that to be done. If if she's not alive, John will do it because she wanted it done. And he may, or maybe he does it himself. I hope with a dragon. Yep. Because the dragon helped Make forge it. it. Yeah. So it would be able to complete that circle. Uh, I have said that before. The Iron Throne will not be there physically. They will destroy the symbol of the old feudalistic system. Agreed. And things will begin to change. Now, again, I don't think it's going to be like overnight, some parliament system or republic or something. But we will see. We've got hints of that already in the Marine with the elections, you know, when Danny left. So I definitely think we'll see that for sure, some change. Uh, Davos would be great, but I think Davos wants to go home. Yeah. I think he just wants to go home with his wife. He hadn't seen her in a long, long time. Right. And in the books, he's he's up in Skago, supposedly. You know, he it was the Manderleys, whole thing going on with the Manderleys, too. So, yeah, I don't know. If he was, uh, if somebody did throw his name in the hat, then uh, I know John would second that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah he, he would. He'd, he'd be he a would. great guy to do that. He's fair square. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I won't. I won't say. Uh, I doubt you on Danny and Sansa and John living. I don't doubt it. I mean, I can see it happening. I can see it happening. I hope not. You know, the fanboy wants Danny to live and John to live. Yep. Uh, and all that stuff, but yeah, you know, iron I love seat. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> iron love seat. That's that's fucking outstanding. <laughs> We need to. If they both that, live, that is fucking outstanding. <laughs> okay, all right. We need an iron love seat. We need it because I don't like this set anymore. Uh, this is just like my computer room. I, I want an iron love seat now, and a real set with TVs and shit behind Hell us. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, can somebody make us an iron love seat? Anybody know how to weld? I mean, I can weld, but I don't have a bunch of swords laying around. Hell either. no. Oh, man. that's fucking outstanding. <laughs> The Iron Love Seat. That's great, man. I'm going to steal that shit. Uh, t- we got it. Well, trademark. Trademark that shit now. Let me go to the, site, the website before somebody grabs that. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Oh, hell. Okay. All right. Um, Doc Kyle, they saying I missed the super chat. Did I, did I miss one, Doc? Let me check. Let me check. I'm sorry if I missed somebody's. Uh, oh, yes, I did. Brennan. Oh, Brennan in Brooklyn. Uh, Manus. I don't know. Who That's a big people? one. Yeah. <laughs> That's my daughter. Yeah, just... My son-in-law. <laughs> so, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We... Love you. <laughs> uh, miss y'all. Keep up the great stream. We Thank... miss y'all, too. Thank you to the Manuses, <laughs> Brooklyn and Brennan. Sorry we we, uh, we missed your kid. Thanks, Doc. We were we were just I mean hey look they're all the same color you know in here kind of sort of I'm colorblind yeah we just blend. skipped it let me check other ones just to be sure I don't want to yeah that would be bad if it, she called you up. why didn't you why didn't you get my super chat dad skip right uh, over it uh, it's James <laughs> fault it's his fault it is <laughs> it's always your fault okay all right, all right let's take a stretcher let me double check really quick here I think we're good I don't see any new subscribers. Everybody, please subscribe, please. I got to get that percentage up for the channel to grow. So if you're here watching, just just in case just you haven't already, just a little bit, just uh, just log in or create an account really quick. Subscribe, really appreciate it. Anyway, so anyway, yeah, let's do that. Let's take a stretcher, let the uh, riddle go uh, out and do his business, and we'll come back and unbox this bad boy. I'm ready to see what's in it. So give us a few minutes, and we'll be right back.
Okay, I think I think we're back. We back. We're back. This camera sucks. I gotta get a new camera. You can't zoom anymore, right? We look. We're all like short <laughs> down here at the bottom. Frame sucks. Sorry. Voice, I see that. I didn't see oh, the top of it. Oh see lord. That. Oh lord. Here we go. There's Carol Brown. Hey Carol. And uh, I saw Lala Gig hopping in. What's up, Lala Gig? And CB. Car Carol, I I will be hitting you up, honey. I got your message a little late. Uh, hello, Evol. Uh, there's a name I don't recognize. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. There's 42 is the answer. 42 is the answer. Uh, when I'm taking off the hat. Uh, 100K. 100K. So probably never is basically it. <laughs> Sorry. I just... I just, I'm, I'm, by the time I'm just you take that thing off, you be bald. I may actually be bald by the time we take this thing off because YouTube fucking sucks as what it is. I'm, I'm sorry. It is just not like it used to be. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's crazy. It, it's, it drives me insane. Um, but yeah, so it's supposed to be a hundred K. That was the idea. We thought we'd get there last year. Honestly, um, we did. We thought we'd get there last year. Uh, damn, Dustin, he, look, man, you ain't getting what's in my box. He, he, he's like, open the box. What's in the box? Uh, okay, let's open a box. Let's open the box. Let's, let's do, do that. So let's see, how am I going to do this? Um, just sit it here on my lap? Yeah. All right, so let me, let me cut it open. Uh, we didn't get the Jamie hand. Uh, <laughs> let me cut it open here. Uh, there we go. And lay that sharp object somewhere else. Uh, oh, so let's open this box. We should have cut it open with ice or something. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a little dramatic, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'll work, though. Okay, so let's take the cellophane off. Uh, and then uh, let's throw that down there. Um, again, remember, guys, for these boxes, these come quarterly. These are not monthly. So these are big boxes, a bunch of shit in them. Cool so they shit. are quarterly. Um, there is a link in the description. It says Culture Fly Game of Thrones box. You can go to that. That does support the channel. Doesn't cost you anything extra whatsoever. But that will be a, it's a little kickback if you want to do something like these. And these, again, are you get four a year. So it's a bunch of shit in these compared to, like, the little monthly box where you get just a T-shirt and, like, one item. So here we go. Really cool the box itself. Too. Yeah, the box is cool. Yeah, can they see that really good? Let's see. This one's different from the last one. Yeah, so it's a pretty yeah, cool box. It says uh, HBO in the back. I mean, this you got all your. Cool. It's all official and everything there. I'm trying to angle that so it zooms and focuses. But yeah, this is a good. Oh, and there's the Westeros. I didn't even see that. The maps on the back and then the sigils on the front. So anyway, this this box and it didn't get damaged, which is good. Right. Uh, so that's cool. So let's open it up here. Let's see if I can prop it there. All right. So yeah, ins. Oh, oh, this looks cool. Look at that. Inside the box there is Game of Thrones. Uh, and by the way, they're not paying me to do this. Uh, I just no. want to be clear. We just want to be Again, cool. I do have an affiliate I mean, uh, thing just to be up front. There is a link in the description, but I'm just doing this because I wanted to see what's in it and thought you guys might enjoy it. So that's cool. It smells good. What is this? Yeah, I'm dying to know. Okay, so first we got the little card here. Uh, I guess it tells me everything that's in it. So there's a little card. Uh, I'll, I won't, I'll, I'll go through the stuff first, though. What is this fur thing? Oh, shit. I think I know what this is. So this... Looks to be a Stark something. Oh, it's like a scarf. Is this a Stark scarf? Look at this shit. Oh, hell. Oh, man. hell there. Look at that. It's like a bandolier or something? Look, what is it? What is it? Look uh, on that card. See, see yeah, what so that let me look. describes it as. Yeah, scarf. How Stark scarf. So you got the fur in the middle. This is long. Dude, that is neat. The fur in the hell. middle and. That's real leather. Man. You got very the house nice. Stark sigil right there. So check it, check it. You can you just put it over like this. There, there we go. You got the Look Stark. At that shit. You got Game of Thrones right here, and then they little uh little tassels at the end there. Game of Thrones and and em, em, was embossed. Mm -hmm. Is that the right word? Embossed. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna wear that shit in the winter. That is neat, man. I'll wear that shit right out in the public. I don't care. Got House Stark right there. That's cool. Hell yeah. That's pretty damn cool. I'm gonna keep that on. Okay, so I'll do the I'll do the shirt last. I know this cool shirt. Uh we got some <laughs> air from the set. <laughs> we got fucking air from uh yeah, this is from I believe this is from Ireland. Sweet. And we have a bag of air here from I believe this is Titanic Studios in Belfast. Very cool. And I hope you seriously don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> just, okay, sorry. Uh okay, so uh Riddick's, uh, Riddick's snacks. 
Yeah, it says, yeah, Riddick Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, speaking of Riddick, there he is. Okay, let's see. We got Game of Thrones, Westerosi Sigil Coasters. So let me open this up. So we got some coasters here. Little box there. Let me open it up. We gotta we gotta see the coasters. It's gotta be Heck different yeah, ones, right? Man. Looks like there's five. So we got Lannister. Oh, oh these man. are actually cool, man. These, these are, are nice. Good quality coasters. Lannister coasters. You see the back's got the cork. Uh, so we got Lannister. Y'all name these. Y'all name these sigils. What's that one? All right. And then we got this one. <laughs> Mother of the Year. <laughs> no, you got the Blackfish. I was going to say that. You got yeah. some good tallies. Make, make so me. you got uh yeah name that name this coaster. I mean there's if you can't get these you don't you don't watch the show. That's there you right. Go, Stark. And then we have, of course, oh, yeah. Targaryen. These are nice, though. They These are not are. like just cardboard. I mean, there's some kind of, I don't know what that is, but it's definitely got cork on the back of it for sure. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we got a set of coasters. Damn Skippy. Uh, we'll put those back in there. You know, I'm all uh, OCD about shit like that, except for this shit laid in the floor over here. Uh, so let's lay that over there. Uh, this, uh, okay, we do get a pin again. So we got a big one last time. This is a Stark pin this time. Nice, see that? Man. So that this is last very time nice. it was uh, Greyjoy, we do not sew. These are like, uh, that's what, four inches? Yeah. Four, that's, that's a big pen. So, yeah, uh, for pen collectors, uh, the last one was uh, Greyjoy, so that's a pen. Pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Dude. Oh, cool. A three-eyed raven. That'll be now, back you know here. This is my shit. Yeah, you know it will be. I got a small one. Uh, there's the back of that, but this is the three-eyed raven. Man, that is nice. Let me take this out. Check it, check it. Uh, so let's see. That is really damn nice, man. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a bigger version of the small one that they actually sell, but uh, very cool. God, that looks good. That is badass. Uh, three-eyed raven. Can you see that? There's this camera blows ass, but uh, it's on like it's a little stump here. Game of Thrones on the bottom. Very detailed. That, it is. It's very cool. Can I hold that? Yeah, please, please hold that. Um, and then here, uh, back there in. you go. Yeah, yeah, you do that. You mm -hmm. put, put it back. Vanna. Uh, okay. Next we have a damn Game of Thrones one one bottle opener. Oh, hell. Where he's putting that some bitch in a headlock. Let me see <laughs> he's it. He's putting it in a headlock. Man, that's neat this as hell. This is like heavy as hell. Like it, if you put a like you could put a blade on the other end of this shit. You know, this is a weapon. No, this is a K one one bottle opener where he puts the damn beer in the headlock. <laughs> so, so that's pretty cool. Uh, damn, that's a big ass. That's the biggest bottle opener I've ever seen. Me too. I, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the biggest bottle opener I've ever seen. Uh, that is heavy. Um, okay, cool. Three eyes. We got. Raven, lovely raven. Ah, this is my kind of shit. This is what I need right here for my. I need no, a new notebook. A things Jon Snow knows notebook. Wow. So uh, if you can see that, this is a leather bound book, notebook. I'm trying to get that. It's got. Let me just take it out. Let me just take it out. We got to see it. This all smell. It's like real leather. I smell the leather. Or Love. maybe it's pleather. I don't know, but it smells like leather. It damn sure does. You know what I mean? You, you can still, I can smell it. Okay, let me get the cellophane off. So it's we'll got that throw new that down here. Smell. Yeah, so let me slide that down. So notebook, things John Snow knows. So there's nothing in here. Uh, and, oh, it's just blank pages. There's no lines. Oh, yeah, man. That's but, cool for sketching. Yeah, the, I could, I could sketch that. That will be stuff I will definitely use for the book. Damn right. That's cool. So a little notebook, got a little bookmarker in there, a little Game of Thrones thing on the back. So that is leather. Very cool. I will use that for sure. Uh, okay, and this we have a nice little King in the North, uh, I guess, poster, like a mini poster. There's a King in the North. Man, that looks really that good. That looks cool. King in the North poster. You got, I'll get you a frame uh, for that, dude. Long claw there, and his, uh, you don't see his head, but you see the Stark armor and long claw and his cloak and all that good shit. That's pretty cool. That will be framed. Yeah, that will look that really cool. good framed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, big car, that's what is that? 12 by 8, maybe? Yep. Something like that. About 12 by 8. So that's cool. That's going on the wall. 
And then last but not least, I have a t-shirt here. Everyone does come with a t-shirt. This is so funny. What we got here? Is this a Night's Watch t-shirt? It's black. I know it's black. That's my favorite non-color. What is it? Oh, no. Oh. Hodor. Bless his heart. It's hold, hold the door. Oh, shit. All those hands on him. Man, that's cool as hell. That is cool. Uh, so, yes, a hold the door, Hodor t-shirt. Man, with the blue. That's worth the damn box right there. It is. It is. So, there's the t-shirt, hold the door. You can see that. Nothing on the back there. But, uh, damn, that's going to uh, people. You'll get reaction from that shirt because everybody knows what the hell that is. Of course, every time you hold the actual door now is, yeah. uh, since that came out. So, anyway, I think that's everything. So, yes, we... Uh, very nice stuff, man. It is very cool. So, we had the, the poster, we had the coaster set, we had the pit, the, the, the pen, the sigil pen, the 1-1 one, one bottle opener, the Jon Snow notebook or journal, Three-Eyed Raven little statue, the t-shirt, and this awesome uh, scarf that I would actually wear. Very cool, man. <laughs> so, uh, Even I'll take the scarf off. It's a little, little warm in here. On it. <laughs> <laughs> the Catelyn's pubes. Oh shit! I may not wear it uh, after all. That's what I said. That. <laughs> anyway, I'll just toss this back. So very cool, very cool box. Um, I like these boxes. I really do. I do too, man. Uh, these are very. Oh shit! There's something else. I, I ain't gonna. Make, this is not gonna fit, is it? Yeah, I'm not gonna make this fit right. Hell yeah! That I, thing needs to be displayed. Yeah, anyway. this will, this will, this stuff will be added to the 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 rooms here somewhere. Yeah, that. So let me. Uh, Carol Brown said, "Looks like Solo and Carbonite." That's what I thought it when I first laid eyes on it. Carol. All right, so there it is. There it is. Very cool. Uh, got a little. I got Catlin's pubes in my shoulder now. So very cool. Laura De Groot says, uh, "35." Wow, that's a lot of stuff. It is a lot. of it stuff. It is, and uh, that's why they do these quarterly, Laura. So you get these quarterly, so four a year, um, and then it's uh, got a bunch of shit in it. It's it's very. It's opposed to like the little. And there's nothing wrong with the little boxes. They're a little cheaper, right. like 20 bucks, but you get them every month. Um, but you're basically getting a T-shirt and then a couple little mm -hmm. trinkets, and they're not really good quality all the time. Some are, some are fine. Uh, I still like uh, Geek Fuel and stuff, but it's uh, and I got a lot of Geek Fuel T-shirts. But that's really what you're getting. It's a T-shirt and a couple little trinkets. These are bigger things. And the last box is really cool, too. Uh, but I, I'm digging that box. So... Yeah, I mean, again, I'm not being paid to show that or anything. I just want to show you guys, and I do have a, an affiliate link to to be up front again, and it's in the description. So if you want a Game of Thrones box from from Culture Fly, check, uh, click that link. Uh, it won't cost you anything extra, but it does uh, does support the channel. Um, no, no, Carol Brown, no Carol Brown. That he said that he said the pubes thing, but I'm just saying I did get a little bit of my on my shoulder on my new Dead by Daylight T-shirt. Uh, that. <laughs> That, that Mander got me, so. Mander. Anyway, very cool, very cool. Uh, I'm, I, I like it, I like it. Very cool. Okay. Uh, let's get back to questions here. Let's see what we got. Um, Jerry Kroll, Q&A, what percentage uh, or chance, well, oops, oops, hold on, Jerry, hold on, I'm about losing it. Uh, what percentage or chance do you think, damn it, why does it keep, stop scrolling? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, what percentage, uh, do you think there, or chance do we think that we'll see ice spiders as big as hound in season eight? Great job guys. Thank you. Um, I would say there's two, there's two sides of me here. Two okay. things. Uh, first off, I would say they won't do it because they've, they're already beyond the wall. Okay. You know what I mean? Cause you see them coming through the wall. You already saw giants and I think we saw a couple mammoths, We did, but we didn't see, we should have saw them then. Right. But the other side of me says, huh? I think I saw a tauntaun. Yeah, you, you might might have. That would be funny if they hid one yeah, in there. Um, but yes, but you, so we should have seen it then, right? Or something. But maybe they'll save that. It is the last season. There is bigger budget. They got more time. So they could throw a couple in there, you know, like they came through last or yeah, whatever. I think that would be cool. So I think it would be cool. I would get a. I would say. I would say there's a. I would just say ten percent chance. I mean, honestly, I don't. I don't think we will in the show, and eh, we'll see. But uh, just based off of them already coming through the wall, and you kind of saw the giants and the, the mammoths and stuff. Yeah. All right, uh, all right, Cuh, uh Zombie Drive Gaming. He's got to go to school. That's you was just, right. You were just here for Thanks the box. For hanging, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see how you are. Just here for the box. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, man. 
uh, have a good one at school and get your GPA up. Just saying, work on it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So later, later, Dustin. Um, hold on, Kyle Dubs. I see that one second. Uh, La La Gig, thank you for the super chat. Uh, is the long night over? Are we there yet? Close. Just a couple weeks, La La. Just a couple weeks. So, uh, <laughs> no, yes, we are. God, we'll be 300 and I'm going to say 50 days, Amen. 45, I don't know. 300 something days away. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll, mm -hmm. it'll, but Still here's the thing. Sad, it is. It is. When it gets here, though, we're going to be like, damn. Like we were just talking about like it was a year away and now it's already over. Yeah. You know how it goes. But luckily we do have spinoffs coming. So hopefully they do those right. I'm sure they will. Yeah. Um, they'll be good regardless. It won't be the main story, but it's Game of Thrones related. It's, it's Ice and Fire related. Uh, let me check this really quick. I think we're good there. Um, uh, yes. Unless they blow it on this on the finale. Yeah. I cannot see yeah. how the spinoffs will fail. I can't. I can't see them failing either because there's so much. They're they're pulling now. This is a good thing about spinoffs. Number one, it's not Dan and Dave yeah. for people who don't like Dan and Dave, mm -hmm. but they're pulling directly from written material. They're Love pulling it. all this stuff Love from it. directly from, you know, Ice World of Ice and Fire, uh, Fire and Blood, probably. Mm -hmm. That I'm guessing that's the yeah. first one. I'm guessing that's the first spinoff. I think it's safe. Guess. That's gonna be published this year. So they're pulling from directly from all this stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it won't be any, like, made-up stuff, right, that he hadn't written. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes, sir, Jerry. No problem. No problem. Uh, much love, Lady Warrior. Back to you, Lady Warrior of House Tinfoil. Much love. Uh, La uh, okay, Lonnie Ocho. Hello, everyone. Happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers. Ice Spiders in Season 8, 100% chance. You think so? Interesting. Awesome. I mean, like I said, that was the other. That's what I was saying, though, about the small percentage that it could be. Is like, I think they're going to take their time. Obviously, there's plenty of time. They got a bigger budget. They're not going to be. Shouldn't be any ghost excuses. I know here's here's Gray's thing, but hashtag free ghost. So we might as well see him, right? That's right. Might as well see him. They did the polar bear. If yeah, they, they do did. the damn polar bear, they can do ice spiders. So looks like Hoon's got. The oh, countdown. Hoon's got a countdown. I'm sure there's websites up. I, I'm sure there are, but Hoon's got a countdown. Hoon job. 328 days, 20 hours, and 59 minutes. So I have that long, so I, uh, that's till the show comes on. And Shaves that's three weeks off what you said, it, 350 days. It does. It makes it you does. feel better already. Yeah, see, we're a little closer, <laughs> Lala. Like we're almost there. But also, this is how long I have to get this channel fixed. To get That's it to 100K. Right. There you I, go, Here's brother. the thing. Let's, let's slide Here, into the next Here's season. the thing. I don't want to go in. I don't, I don't want to do a season uh, eight episode one live stream and then uh, with a hat on. I just don't. That's let's just go ahead and say that good. now. That's, that's good way I don't want to do a live stream next year after the show and then the, the videos, like the reviews. Yeah. And then our episode seven fundraiser, charity fundraiser, mm -hmm. which is going to be huge. We're going to try it's to make this huge. Be gigantic, guys. Uh, I don't want to do any of that with a hat on. So let's uh, let's get this shit going. Uh, and I got it. That's on me. That's on me. But, you know, all that sharing and, and subscribing and all that stuff obviously helps. But I got to figure something out because nothing I do works right now. So I got to find that secret formula. So I got 100, uh, 300 something days to do so. There's Herb Coswell. Uh, what's up, Herb? Uh, Q&A, if Arya is said to look like Liana, then technically she would grow up to be as beautiful as Liana. That came out weird. Uh, yes, that was the whole idea. Uh, the whole Arya horse face thing does not mean she's ugly. Right. Uh, believe I mean, me. I think she is like an ugly duckling character. You know, in Sands of Shadow... And she's that would yeah. blossom and freaking exactly. It's part of the identity smoker, crisis. Yeah. It's absolutely part of the identity crisis. But the whole reason that's there is the proxy through John looking like Ned. Ned looks like Liana. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's the reason. That's the reason. So absolutely. Um, so yes, uh, she she will likely very well be. Are, are we still? Are we spinning? Are we good? Everybody, I see us spinning. I don't see anything wrong here. Okay, it's probably just YouTube. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Knight's Douche <laughs> says, who's, 
Who's trying to knock me into a coma until season eight comes out or until the next smoke screen video? Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's kind of one just wake me up. Suspended animation. Yeah, exactly. Uh, somebody uh, go over to Night Douche's place and <laughs> and and like cryo freeze him or hell yes. I don't know uh, something to the head. I don't know, but I, I'm just I'm just Bill trying Cosby to Bill Cosby's ass. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! <laughs> We, we, took, we just got demonetized. I'm oh, sorry. No, no. I, I keep forgetting about that. Oh, no, well, shit. I see it turning yellow now. It's yellow. Oh, shit. You might see something pop up and say this channel's been suspended. <laughs> uh, if you see that, it's James' fault. I'm so <laughs> <Okay>. sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, we did spin. Uh, Karen, we did spin. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's YouTube. I think we're good on this end, but uh, hopefully that doesn't start acting up here. Okay, we're. <laughs> oh, that's yes, funny. Um, let's see. Uh, John uh, John Long. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm glad John's asking this because I want to address this. John Long Lannister. Uh, any chance we could get a Westworld Sunday before the season ends? Here's the thing, John. I've, I've you know we did that first uh, episode one uh, kind of well, it's kind of half got half Westworld kind of like review and and I took t- taking notes and stuff. But I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I just don't know if I can do Westworld this year. First of all, I'm not loving it. Like, I don't get me wrong. I like the show, and I will watch yeah. the show, and I have watched every. I have not watched tonight yet, but um, I just, I'm not loving it to where I just feel like I need to do a live stream on it and then a review, like a full yes, yes, thirty, you know, you twenty saying. minute review video that takes me uh, twenty four hours. Uh, to to edit, you know what I mean? Because that's a hour show, just like Game of Thrones. So it's a it's a long process, and I'm I mean I like it, but it's just not. I don't. I'm not in love with it. Or that you know seems what I mean? To be the consensus I'm I'm getting. Yeah, I, I've seen a few other people mention like the, the show this year, but it's it's still good. Don't get yeah. me wrong. It's just like without because it's all it's all you're just guessing what's happening during the season, and then everything's answered. So there's no history. Uh-huh. There's no lore. So I'm just not, exactly. I just can't force myself to do a video on something that I don't just absolutely love. So like right now I can talk about Cobra Kai and I know that's a very small audience compared because most younger people don't even understand what the hell we're talking about. Right. Um, I was even going to think about there starting to talk about, pull from, though, there. there is true, you know? there, there is true, that is true. But yeah, it's not like an ice and fire thing, but it could be no, a quick little weekly Cobra video. Cobra Kai does have a little history, and they, it, they there, bring it into there it. There is, and you could pull that up and say, check this little clip out from, you know, this yeah. is where they point it from. But that would be a quick five-minute video per week, you mm-hmm. know. But I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, man. I just don't know. I don't know. It's it's hard. Um, because i got to do other things besides Game of Thrones and start going, for, you know, moving in that direction. But at the same time, I still have to focus on that. It's all sure. it's weird yeah. for this last year and then through the season. Um, so what I think it, it's hard. It's hard. It's cool. Is I mean, and it's just a little prediction of mine. Um, your book at some point will be yes. YouTube content. For you. Yes, it will absolutely be. That's the idea, and that's why I want to use it on Patreon mm-hmm. as a behind the scenes. Uh, exclusive type thing there to release a little bit and I want some honest real feedback yeah. on some of this stuff as far as how it's written I'm not talking about how, like how punctuation it's, is, it's good yeah yeah no, but, I'm not, not talking about that but I'm talking about your phrasing and, and the way you write is mind blowing and, and it's funny uh, you know because I know you're smart I've known you for a long time your mom's known you your whole life <laughs> she was blown away by it that, that is true you know, she, she's like she she did say you yeah. know because she's not a fantasy reader she loves right. but she reads all the time but she's not a big fantasy person but she did say damn I didn't know you were a writer yeah me I either. said you I didn't either I mean I, I knew I've written a little I've, I've well. written some stuff in the past uh, but little fan fiction things and a lot of Star Wars stuff just on just for fun but that was a long long time ago so I really want some feedback so that's going to be a Patreon thing uh, for sure and I will say too for mid level stuff there's going to a lot more behind the scenes um, as far as video updates, probably a lot of outtakes, mm-hmm. you know, kind of funny shit. Because so. when I film, it's not, I mean, there's some funny shit. There's some funny shit that happens. I'm just saying, there's always something. It might be a phone ringing and I throw something across the room. <laughs> it might be a truck going by. It might be me stuttering. There, but there's going to be some more outtakes and bloopers 
from videos and shit like that. So I'm trying to up Patreon's game, my Patreon game, because it's really sustaining me because YouTube is not. And um, it's starting to kind of fade off a little bit, you know, and I understand it's the off season. Yeah. But that's long what I mean. It's a, lo- a long one, absolutely. And But that's the other thing. I got to build other things. And I hope the book thing that I'm really, really getting into now, uh, really getting some ideas flowing and, and getting them out on paper, uh, well, on computer. I do print them out because I like seeing it stack up as it gets bigger. <laughs> so, anyway, that I hope to use, I hope to be, you know, this will be the source channel, you know, because uh, I'm writing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is my world. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is meant to be. It so, is. I hope that's something uh, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I'm really excited for uh, some of you guys to read some of this and say, damn, or no, or go away, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah, I'd love to read more, or I'm intrigued. You know, all that kind of stuff. Is it, you know, is it descriptive? And, you know, I've got a, a little feedback from I got from James and a couple of close uh, friends and family members, but I want to get, I got to get a bigger uh, audience out there to get some feedback. Uh, let's see here. Uh uh, yes, Chris. See, you've been going a while, Chris G. Yes, I have uh, a book going, um, and I haven't just, I've only announced it on here. Uh, and there's no official, like, sponsor, I mean, not sponsor, but promotion going on yet besides right. just talking about it. But I'm starting to look into that. Um, I've got a world drawn. I've got notes. I've got a few chapters done. There's Everything's kind of coming together. It's slow. It's a lot of work. So that is uh, that is taking a little bit of time away from YouTube, but i got a year uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I got, I, it's just something I've always wanted to do. And I was like, you know what? There's not going to be another Game of Thrones I know. ever, period. I mean, there's going to be other great shows and books, but I'm going to make my own damn world. So that's, that's kind of what happened. So I did start that for sure. Uh, let's see where I saw a bunch of questions here. Okay. 3D Zen, uh, Ziner here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You corrected me last week. Did I say that right? Ziner or Zener? I think it's three, Designer. Three, three designer. designer. That's right. Damn it. I'm sorry. I knew that. I knew that. Three Designer. Uh, Q&A. Theory. Kyburn better and not su- sweet. Uh, ending becomes Night King, ma- Maester, and Healer. Oh, the Knight's King. Okay, I got you. The okay. Night King's Maester and Healer. Learns how to reverse the magic slash spell and cures all White Walkers. To start the new realms of men, the second men. Wow, that's interesting. So, like, the Night King wants to come and be normal in a sense, but get rid of all the pre the men and children and all the bullshit. And then Kyburn's the one he wants to reverse the spell. That's and what that's, basically what you're saying. Yeah, and, and then be his maester and healer and. And then calls it the second man. I think that's cool. That is a cool idea with the the, the second man. Yeah. yeah. But you are well. You kind of already had the second man. You had the you had the first man. Then you had the uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's it. Sounds really cool though. But eh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it does go along with our our ending idea of the magic though. Yeah. Because do you? But do you, if you destroy the the magic source, can he use magic to reverse it, or everybody just drops? Right, because like right now, obviously, including himself. Because yeah, you're talking about basically just saving the White Walkers. Yeah, the few that are left. There's like twelve left, right? Right. Um, I believe. That's what we're assuming, yeah. Because we but saw three, we've seen three die, right? So yeah, uh, it would just be that handful of people, maybe, to restart society. Uh, but the Andals came over. That was kind of the second oh, group of men. Shit. Yeah, you just said something. I'm gonna write that down. Uh, but that's interesting. That's a good idea. I don't know. I, let me put some thought into that. And uh, maybe there's some supporting evidence. That's interesting. I don't know. It's like, I, I guess my question would be, how does he, he comes down and is he after Kyburn? Does he know about him? Because he's doing, you know, dabbling in magic or trying to, yeah. or does he come across him and then go, oh, hey, you can help us, human. Let's not, don't kill this one. You know what I mean? With his, yeah, with his ability to see things, it makes you wonder, um, is he aware, or like you said, yeah, yeah. going to happen to Right, see right. What so he's up to. He could be, ta- again, back tapping to where we're dying When that. they have that battle over the mountain. Yes, he, he say, sees that the mountain is reanimated by a you person. Have potential here. Yeah, that's a good, uh, that could fit, that could fit. That's a good idea, three designer. That's Take a good idea. Cersei as my wife. Like oh, oh there, then, saying, then there's your night queen. Yeah, and then now here's our little maester. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I've just I've never seen the uh, the I've never thought that the Night King just wanted to come like sit on the throne of dead of no one in the world. Right. Because it makes no sense. It's like ruling over the ashes. It's, it's, so it's like ruling over the snowmen. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like that's all it is. Uh, yeah. So anyway, anyway. Uh, Taryn, hello, Taryn. Thank you so much hey. for stopping in. Uh, uh, I can't wait. Thank you, Taryn, so much. I know I'm not going to say it, but I can't wait to show off what you're making. So cool. I got to, I got to show James because he was gone. I got to show the pictures you sent. Oh yeah. Uh, you emailed of what you're making. I can't wait to show that off. That is cool. Uh, so thank you, Taryn, so much. Um, let's see. Uh, Omar Williams Q and A. Fast paced season eight. Steady. We only have so much time. Uh, Omar, I think it's got to be kind of fast, but again, it goes back to where whether there's going to be longer episodes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it, we could potentially get essentially 10 hours worth of material in six episodes. I don't, I don't want it to be too fast. Yeah, I don't standard. either. I want it to be make sure it's cleared. I want, I want to make sure it's clear and everybody, it's not any question about it. Yeah. You know, like there's no, well, I don't know if that really meant that, so I still think that John's probably... A, a Dane. Right. Yeah, or some right, bullshit. Dude. You know what yeah. I mean? Some crazy shit like that. So, um, Uh-oh. Yes, I just, 460 miles. I was going to mention that earlier when I was talking about other things to do. We were talking about, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> Fucking Cobra Kai. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin came in earlier and I said, did you see the, the season finale of Lucifer? And this is one of the, I told you guys, I think we both, mentioned it before we don't watch tv right very much but we did watch cobra kai youtube red Mm -hmm. and i watched lucifer and we talked about shark tank and shit like that that's right we did but i watched lucifer and i've thought about talking about on youtube because not a lot of people talk about it it's a fox show based off a dc vertigo character i love the show and i asked my cousin today when he came in uh, about it about if he saw the the season finale of season three they canceled the son bitch they canceled my da- only show I watch on regular TV anymore. The only one they canceled it. So this was, uh, but there's a big hashtag trending today: Save Lucifer or pick up Lucifer. It is number one on trending on Twitter. Yeah. So there's some backlash. So here's the thing: when that came out, they thought it would be canceled the first season. So when season two rolled around, they had to hurry up and put out episodes. They were behind, so they had to take a break to produce these episodes because people were demanding it. It was like popular. So now all of a sudden, just in season three, all of a sudden it's like, what? You canceling the show? Like you said. It's a great show. Pick it up. So, another- so somebody can pick it up. Yeah. And I think actually somebody, to my to my knowledge, a few things I've seen from the actor, because I tweeted those guys today. Awesome. I tweeted the, the actors and Fox and used the hashtag that's trending. And I saw Tom, what's his name, that plays Lucifer, saying that there's a couple... Studios, NBC, somebody, and something else trying maybe to pick that up. So there's still hope. There's hope. We'll see. Uh, Netflix will be great. Um, uh, Michelle Mark. See, there's some Lucifer fans up in here. Uh, yeah, Netflix will be fine. YouTube Red could do it. Uh, I mean, anybody. Uh, so I think we, there's a chance it could be picked up. <clears throat> so anyway, anyway. Uh, hopefully that'll happen. All right, so let's see where are we at. Um, what give them like maybe people who don't know just just kind of what you said at the table in there about what what that is. In oh, case Lucifer. They want to go back and yeah. So if you if you like, hadn't watched cool Lucifer, concept. the concept is cool, and I always love angelic stuff. So just in a nutshell, just to throw it out there really yeah, quickly. Real quick. Um, basically, it's the story of Lucifer, the actual uh, angel. Uh, he is fallen. He is, quote-unquote, the devil, but not really. This is a, uh, a DC character from mm-hmm. Vertigo Comics did it. And he is uh, on Earth, and he did uh, defy Dad and all that kind of stuff, but he's not evil. It's not making fun of Christianity. I promise you, I've seen tweet. I've seen stuff like that. Like, this is mocking the... No, it's right. not. It's just taking a story and saying... Like he's not evil. He's a he's kind of a playboy on Earth and all that stuff. But he's like he, he he's, would be. Like he would be. But he's he's his job is to punish evil. And so there's that. He's got a brother named Amenadil. He's an angel as well. He's like he's like the Michael of what you would think of classical angel mythology. Uh, he's in it. But they they so they take a cop show. Yeah. And they make it. They put angels in it, 
and it really works because the cop, the detective, the main story, uh, I guess, I guess she's the, basically the Lucifer and her kind of co-stars. Yeah. Chloe, there's something special about her and it, it affects him and it affects Amenadil and, and there's a, so anyway, it's a really cool show. Essentially it's a cop show wrapped around with a wrapping of, uh, like, um, uh, biblical. And it doesn't overdo. Anything. No, no. Yeah. It's not like over the top crazy and like Legion or something like that. But, um, yeah, really cool and funny show. It's lighthearted. Uh, you know, it's, it's really cool, but yeah, they, uh, they screwed. They screwed us on that. Apparently, so hopefully somebody to grab it and pick it up. I mean, there's a couple, you know, slow episodes. You don't understand what's going on. But here's the thing: they wrote this cliffhanger for season four, and now there's no season four. So even the producers on Twitter like pissed off. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you, Michelle Mark P, for the super chat. I do not see a question there, Michelle. So I don't know if you meant to have a question. Uh, if you did, please try to get it to a moderator. Uh, and I see you're probably on iOS, so on, there's a line right above the slider where you pick the amount to type your question there. Uh, I can see the by the amount, it's probably iOS. I don't right. know why they do that, where you can't change it, just type it in. But yeah, Michelle, Mark P., if you have a question, try to get it to a moderator, please. Carol Brown please. says, bring back Firefly. I never saw it, but I hear a lot of yeah, people saying that. And I got a couple of Firefly t-shirts out of one of the boxes, actually. That's yeah, right. Uh, Firefly is a big popular thing. Oh, here's Michelle Mark uh, P. Cool. I don't know if this is uh, what she was trying to type. Let me find it here. Uh, have you addressed why Tyrion was uh, able to get close to the dragons? Could he be related? We yeah, have talked we, about. we've talked yeah. about it quite a bit. We talked about it, especially during that episode uh, right after, uh, um, or the review that, that was season six. But... Um, you know, it fueled the fire. You, you got to wonder, but it's also, you got to remember here that we'll see what happens in the books because it's a little different. They're, they're kind of loose and Marine, but we'll see, we'll see what happens there because they may have taken a little bit of Brown Ben Plum, which is a character mm -hmm. in the books only and put it in Tyrion. Brown like Ben they Plum, do mesh they characters. do mesh characters. So we're really not sure. So you can't just come out and say, okay, well, he was able to walk up and they, they knew what he was doing. They liked him. They didn't burn him. And let him, and he, you know, they bent down and let him take the chains off. So I think it fuels the fire. I think I wouldn't have a problem if there is another secret Targaryen and it's Tyrion. Oh. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I think it's fine. I don't quite, I don't buy it. The only reason I don't, because I think it makes more sense for him to be the, the actual son of Tywin. Him and Tywin are yeah. so much alike. It's that's why like Tywin hates, hates Tyrion. Um, it would be better for Jamie and Cersei to be like Ty Cardarians, uh, in this timeline makes sense too. But, um, I don't think, I think that was a little bit of a, kind of a tease in the show. And they may have put a little bit of Brown Ben Plum from the books in Tyrion. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm not, a, I'm still not there yet on Tyrion Targaryen. And I think, uh, maybe the Night King grabbing Viserion and being the second dragon rider kind of. Kind of right. threw that out the window. I think so. Because yeah. that was the shocker. Yes. Right? Was that the night, you know, we were supposed to see everybody. Everybody had Tyrion on that. The bird. three heads, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you had Tyrion, Danny, John. It's going to happen, right? Nope. Nope. We see a dragon uh, get speared. Um, you had fucking Joe Montana out there. Uh, with, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, speared uh, Viserion, and there you go. Uh, pulled him out of the lake. And that was your drider, so that took away Tyrion's spot. You know what I mean? Because Rhaegal's got to be Jon's, or I guess, maybe, still. I don't know. That can may, may not happen either. He may be able to ride Drogon or any of them, too. Um, uh, Goonish Tendencies, uh, at Smokescreen, what's with the Tyrion look at the end of Season 7? Uh, I think this has been... Good I, we, we have talked about this. It is interesting, but I think, basically... Um, Let's see where, where where'd my where my question go? I think basically uh, Goonish that it's um it was it was not about I don't buy I will say this up front because I know this is probably what you're thinking. I don't think it was a a deal made with Cersei. I don't think he could make that deal. Yes, he definitely wants Cersei to live until that child is born. That's a conflict for yeah, sure. If it was about the deal with Cersei, he wouldn't have been approaching that door. No. So he'd be keeping that to himself. He'd be in he, his room. Exactly. Right. You know, I, I think it was more of about, and, 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 and uh, Peter Dinklage kind of said this in the behind the scenes post episode thing um, that it was like 
he's just worried that it will complicate things because his big thing is what if Danny dies? And even if she doesn't, after she, she's got to have an heir. So he, he's got this, she's building this new world and he's like, okay, you got to have an heir. You're building this new world. It's got to continue once we win the war. Right. This is going to make things complicated. Now you're going to go risk yourself to save this guy you love. So it's supposed to be a beautiful thing, but it's not, but it's wrong. I mean, it's not wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's complicated. So it should be in, it should be not cool, but it's not, you know, so it's more like it's going to complicate the plan. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's the idea, I think. So I don't think it's a big conspiracy. Now, I, again, there will be, there will be some drama because you, he's got a nephew or a niece coming, supposedly, but he hasn't learned yet that she will probably lose that child. I just had a weird ringing in my ear. I do all the time. It was, it I've was had like it for a years. Weird tone. I get my yeah tetanitis. It, it comes and goes for me like every day. Yeah, this wasn't a high pitch. It was more of a. It was really weird. bassy, bassy kind of mm-hmm. low. All right, so yeah, uh, let me let me double check thing. We'll take a stretch real quick and then come back and wrap it up here. I think I got, okay. I got Michelle's. I think that's Michelle. Hopefully that was your question uh, for the super chat there. And let me check Patreon really quick. Um, okay, Mother of Dragon on Patreon just reviewed a Game of Thrones. Uh, Danny's chapter where Mary described Rago. Joris said, does say. Quote, he never lived, my princess, the woman, the women say. Yeah, that's what I was going to say earlier, because Jorah did not see it. I meant to say that mm-hmm. earlier, actually. Um, but the only description that is uh, is that of Mary, who says uh, the bit about the black lizard skin, dragon wings, and being dead for many years, to which Danny replies, my son was alive and strong when Sir Jorah carried me into this tent. I could feel him kicking and fighting to be born. Remember that. The following page, 633, seems to suggest that Jor and Mary caused what happened to Rago, but that Danny was com- complicit uh, as well because she traded Rago's life for Drogo. Well, exactly. Um, but she didn't quite understand. She got tricked into that. Yeah. Um, but uh, put it in the dragon pit in season seven. The wit- This is the witch that killed your husband and not be the most reliable source. That is correct. Absolutely. That's what I was going to say. Jorah never actually saw it to be like... Uh, to tell Danny, no, no, for real, it was like it had wings and shit, right? You know, so he just heard from the women, the the and all that stuff. So, who's to say, you know? Um, and like he said, not the most reliable source. So she could have been full of shit. Yeah, and that does fit. It does fit because she, Danny, goes on believing this in the books too. Like I can never have kids and stuff. Like why? You know what I mean? But there is some. Uh, uh, minstrel stuff going on in book. <laughs> Thanks Dance for taking Dragons. time to look that up and type all yes, that up. Yes, uh, thank That's you, really thank cool. you, really cool. Appreciate that. So, yeah, I, I think I think it fits. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, I th- I think, and I do think, Viserion in the show at least. We'll see what happens in the books. Is the life that pays for the new the baby or maybe even twins that's a that's a big ass dragon yeah maybe they can have right. uh, maybe yeah. they can have luke and leia and they can name him luke and leia targaryen that'd be cool <laughs> at least it would be some kind of savior of star wars right <laughs> oh shit okay okay i think we're called up i think um so let's take a stretcher and come back and do another awesome few minutes so yeah. if you guys still want to hang out um feel free we'll be back in just a few minutes
Okay, are we good? We're back? We're good, okay. We're back. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Sorry, sorry. I know that this is the music. Everybody hate the music, too, this time. <laughs> this is, look, this is like some vlog music I had on the vlog channel for, uh, and, and actually, I think that's the same music we used in the podcast, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. It is. That's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's, I just added sound effects to the the podcast stuff. Uh, look, oh, look, Mrs. Mrs. Hoon's in the house. I love it. I love it. When I oh, it. <laughs> that's funny. Is this the actual Mrs. Hoon or did Hoon Jive's phone die? <laughs> uh, there's John Haymaker. No, you're here. You're here. Uh, we're we're going to hang out another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, I guess. Yeah. Something like that. Um, and we got to get off here but and let everybody go to bed and stuff, too. Uh, Terry T, Proto Pipe, maybe. Maybe. You'll, ne you'll never know. No. Who <laughs> says no? She's snoring. <laughs> She's snoring. We're boring her. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Nexus One. Cool. Q&A. Welcome, Nexus One. I don't recognize that Me name. Um, I was just talking about that. Hello, too. Aaron Gaines, by the way, and Brock. Uh, she's snoring. Okay, Nexus One. Q&A. Do you think Danny is the is a fire white like John? She possibly died in the power without realizing it. Dro uh, Drogon and Rhaegal have to die, will have to die because they represent John and Danny, like Basira and represents their kid. Uh, that's a good point on the on the dragons, uh, possibly. Yeah, I can see that kind of making sense. But here's the thing about the fire white, right? I've I've said this before, I think, but when there was an interview that came out where they were talking about Beric Dondarrion and George R. R. Martin said, and this is on paper, uh, written, I guess it was in person or on a call. I didn't see the context. I didn't see him laughing or smiling or being serious. You know, whatever right. he was being. He was basically saying that, that, that Beric was a fire white. He has no blood running through his veins or no heartbeat and all that stuff. But I don't think that was serious. And people automatically associated John with that, which he never did. So I don't buy that there's a fire white. And the reason I say that because is Beric still bleeds. He still has a heartbeat because he bleeds. John still bleeds and gets so he's people just kind of a well. If Beric died and was brought back, then John is a fire white. Right. So I well, think he, that was more of a metaphorical kind of thing he was and saying. You usually, when you're telling this, you usually say that you know whites that's necromancy, necromancy. controlling them. Right. They have no will of their own. Exactly. And you know. Um, John obviously does, <laughs> you know, he still does. Yeah, still, he's still John, although changed yeah. or whatever, although he didn't change that much. I think he takes a little more risk or whatever, and he knows there's nothing there or whatever. But yeah, I don't buy that there, that it's an actual thing. You know, I think it was more of what, kind of what he was just, the way he was explaining mm -hmm. the situation. Um, so, and, and, and the Barrick stuff was all foreshadowing for John. So I can see where people may kind of assume it's the same thing where it's, essentially it is, but they're, because they're back from the dead. But they're not necromancy raised. It like, was, it's not magic. It was a tad irresponsible on his part, you know. And I'm not busting his balls. Yes, it was. It, it was. He it should was. have at least, uh, you know, released. But a yeah, it was a small something. little thing, and I'm, and maybe he did clarify something later. I don't think I he, hope did, he did. But uh, yeah, it was a small little thing in print, and I didn't see the context, so I don't fully buy that he actually means that Beric literally has no heartbeat because he he bleeds. Uh, he absolutely bleeds book and show. Uh, he wouldn't bleed and all that stuff, and he wouldn't have a mind of his own. Or, and I said it was irresponsible, or it could have been a really slick move to keep people's it, mind away from... That is true. Guessing. That is absolutely true. Very true. Uh, oh, job. I'm up 13%. I'm back. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's switching accounts. Uh, he's switching accounts. Oh, Let's see. Uh, <laughs> and he grabs something, I think. Oh, oh, okay, I got it. Uh, from Paul McDermott. Um, thank you, Hoonja, for thank grabbing you, that. And, th and thank you, Paul McDermott. Uh, I did to help with the channel live stream. You watching an NFL game with us. The shit talk will be epic. It, it, a Brit does it with soccer and, and banks. Hmm. Huh. So watching a live NFL we would enjoy game. That. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, that would be pretty cool. Interesting. I don't know how we could get by with with uh, showing the game. It'd have to be like a little box with no sound. Something, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, that's interesting. That would be, be kind of cool, though. Uh, I don't know. That's the thing. That's that's what that's what me and James were talking about many times. I think I mentioned on here, actually, about the channel and the future of it. Uh, and I'll discuss it on Patreon a lot more here coming up in the next this next year for sure. 
uh, with uh, you know all you guys who who help support the channel on a monthly basis. Um, it, if I do something else, people get mad, and it's and I understand it to a degree. But I never said this was a Game of Thrones channel only. Right. I said it's an entertainment channel. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But Game of Thrones kind of got boxed into that. And I love it. Don't get me wrong. I I enjoy doing majority Game of Thrones stuff. But it's kind of what happened early on. And if I throw up, um, you know, like when I started doing Westward, I expected to be lower mm -hmm. uh, as far as views go. And it was. But uh, people, it's a big show. And, and, and people look for it. And people like the Star Wars videos. Yeah, but now all the like the ancient history and origin stuff I did on Jedi and Sith, you know, uh, I I enjoyed it. A lot of people did, but then other people were like, "Well, I came here for Game of Thrones." Mm -hmm. So if you do anything else, like last week or the first week we did Westworld, and you get Game of Thrones questions when you do uh, yeah, stream about anything I do, is, is, and we don't mind it. It no. just shows where people are at. Exactly, you know, they absolutely. Focus on this. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, and then but then other people popped in new and said, "Oh, I thought this was a Westworld exactly. stream because we talked about Game of Thrones for ten minutes or in between. Yeah, we they did both. To come on, exactly. Right then. So it's like one of those Dan if you do, Dan if you don't thing. So I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, Carol Brown, don't throw up, don't throw up. What, am I? Do I look sick? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, maybe somebody said something about yeah, Catelyn. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Jeremy Battersby, James, are you wearing a Dirk Nowitzki shirt? <laughs> no, Dirk oh, Diggler. Dirk Diggler from Boogie that's, Nights. That's right. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Julie, uh, is that Reniger? Uh Thank you, Julie. Q and A. Do you think you're on telling Jamie that he has two good hands? Is foreshadowing one of him using his hands to kill Cersei. That's a good point, Julie. Actually, and here's the thing: I found out about the, the that you know that thing. That was a, a made up thing by them. Obviously, we're not in that far in the books yet. That was one of those things. I believe I heard, if that is correct, and again, it's it's just hearsay that the actor actually talked him into let him say that kind of cutesy line. Mm. So I don't know if that if they had plans for that. If if he did, what I'm saying is, if he's like, I think it'd be a good idea to to make this joke about Jamie right in front of him. Right. Then it doesn't fit with any plans they had about, like, foreshadowing. You know what I mean? But it could because, again, the show, Damn. there's no Valencar. I actually never, you're right. I never thought about that. But that is that, that could very well could be, Julie. So if Way they go, if they have that idea for the show, which, yeah. of course, they would know who's going to kill Cersei, then they would like, could, like, hmm, that, that would fit. It so really I don't know. Would. Either way, it could certainly be foreshadowing for a year on uh, uh, kill of Cersei. Or death scene with Cersei, so uh, yeah, good, uh, good idea, good idea. We'll see, we'll see for sure. Um, uh, These characters, though, they're good at remembering what they said to somebody or what somebody said to them a long time ago and bringing it back up. Oh yeah, yeah. So it would kind of yeah. be cool for Jamie to still do it and say something like, "I only needed one hand, ex motherfucker." Ex you know what <laughs> I mean? Absolutely. You could look at it both ways. Because I think that's one thing that makes people think, well, nah, he can't choke her. Yeah, he can. Oh, he, he, yeah. he can absolutely still choke her. And, and again, what if it's not literal? You could do a rear naked on Yeah, that. <laughs> that's right. You can see that shit? Mm -hmm. Fucking, you know. No, but it also doesn't have to be a literal choking. So, you know, there's all kinds that's of right. ways it, it could go. So, But, yeah, again, anyway, either way, either way in the show, it was not actually it mentioned about the balance car. So they can do what they want. Uh, Matt M Q and A. Do you think the foreshadowing to Tyrion not dying as a hero could be misdirection, and then he goes out in a blaze of glory? Could it fit the final theme of bittersweetness? It absolutely could. Tyrion is the one that I would be absolutely pissed. I mean, pretty much anybody left, but I would be very shocked if Tyrion dies. Um, Me too. So I do think that Tyrion will live. I mean, I think you could be right, misdirection wise. But I still think that Tyrion will be one to survive, and I really think with the whole, I really do. I really think the Imps of Light thing will happen. I do think that happens. It seemed like Me a too. joke, yep. but I could see like him remembering that and sitting there sipping on and having, you know, whatever. I don't know. I, I just and think. finishing the joke. I mean, all Finishing that. the joke, yeah. exactly. You got to finish that joke. I don't think they put that joke in there twice so far and not unsaid I know. without it being finished. I mean, twice. They're planning on uh, revealing that sweet-ass joke. Uh, it's got to be something related to that, yes, right? Yes, it does. Uh, Aaron Gaines, I'm a fan of your other content. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, that's the thing. We're, I'm still... 
all believe me it's a, it's all day all, all the time uh like what what do i got to do to get this chick because it's like i i need a I need it's like i need you know <laughs> i need to jump start this son of a bitch again because nothing i do it's, it's like i see a little a little bump and then with the like the short q a question of the day videos i see a little bump in things but then the views still ain't there they won't they won't they won't show up they just it just don't happen so it's very odd. I don't know. I don't know. I got to keep grinding and figuring it out. Uh, but I do want to do other stuff. I just don't know exactly what that is yet. I got to be passionate about it. I don't want to put out a video just to be like, yeah, here, I got to put out a video. So I'm like, hey, guys, this is Chris. Welcome back to another running video. You know, you know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to be passionate I got to about enjoy it. it. I yeah. do. I do. I do. Uh, otherwise, there's no point. Um. John Haymaker, what was in the unboxing? Uh, a lot of cool stuff, man. We had a a Stark, um, really cool Stark. Uh, uh, what, what am I think? It's a scarf. A scarf. It was a yep. scarf. A scarf. We had a Hodor bottle opener. No, I'm sorry, a one one bottle opener. It was a, really cool. A, yeah, a, a giant big, ass bottle opener. Yeah, this month or this, I guess this quarter's pen, uh, a house star, uh, a sigil pen was Stark. Um, we had the coasters. Yeah, the coaster set well, it was a five, five, was five coasters, coasters, five houses, nice little coasters. Um, what else we have? Three eyed raven. The three eyed raven statue. Yes, and then we had the t shirt, which was hold the door. Yes, it was just like the outline of Hodor, and the hands were blue on him. So uh, yeah, really cool, really cool box this yeah, time. It really was. Uh, these uh, these culture fly boxes are really good. Uh, so. Really cool, really cool stuff. I'm enjoying those. Uh, let's see here. Let me check, make sure we're good. Super Chat's good. I'll make sure Patreon's good. All right. Um, hey, Ricky Garrod. Uh, hey, Ricky says on Patreon. Hey, Thank you, Ricky. Hey, sorry I'm late tonight on uh, on Best and Worst Mom. My best is Cersei. Worst is Danny locks her kids in the dungeon. That is, yeah, that is kind of true. <laughs> That she let true. yeah she did lock them up that sure is, is that's idea. true technically and they were kids so you're right you're right Cersei yeah Cersei we talked about Cersei um, but yeah uh, let some run around yeah. sometimes in a restaurant you and you were mentioning outside like a Illyria Sand being a decent mother but yet she wanted revenge and got him killed and arrested and I don't know but yeah she did love her kids I don't know there's a lot of good moms but yeah I still I still stick with Catelyn. I still stay with Callum for the worst. Yes. Because, <laughs> I mean, look, look. I mean, who hadn't locked their kids in the closet a couple times, right? I mean, who hadn't done that? Right? Am I, I'm, not the, I'm not the only one, right? It, I'm just, I, mean, I mean, it may have happened for, you know, a couple minutes or a couple days. I'm, just, I'm, ki I'm kidding. I've been grilled cheese under the yeah. door to Canada. <laughs> Please, I'm kidding. Nobody call DSS. I've never locked my kid up. You know, I've wanted to. I really have, uh, but but I restrained myself. So yeah, that that has not happened. That's that's just a joke, just in case. Uh, okay, let me <laughs> let me check this really quick. Uh, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Furpers one, Furpers one has subbed. Is that this? Fur I recognize that Furpers last name, uh, but thank you for subscribing. If it's not, and, and or either way, thank and thank you, Brett Dwight, for subscribing as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, too new to the family. Uh, <laughs> hashtag save Camden. Thank you, Amanda <laughs> Kane. Uh, she is, uh, she's got, you can't hear her because of the duct tape. But um, anyway, she, <laughs> all right. Uh, yes, Derry, best mama, Miss Seaworth. You know what? You're probably right, Derry. She's putting up a lot of shit. You know, husband's gone all the time. You ain't kidding. Other kids. I mean, he's got more kids than the bugs besides, uh, you know, <laughs> on wood, he got blown up. Yeah. But, yeah, she's putting up with a lot of shit. Matter of fact, she may be gone. She, he may go home, but she's out. Shit's gone. She's like in yeah. Essos with some rich dude, <laughs> you know, living up in a palace, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's a good point. Off screen. Uh... Let's see here. It's, 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 where are we at? Where are we at? No, oh, okay. No Kyle Doves. That's your subbing from your other channel. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. It, it helps. It helps. Numbers help. If it sends you, you know, when you put out a video and 5% of everybody gets notified that subscribe. So you got 62,000 people, 5% of that. The more the, the higher the 62 is, the higher the 5% is. That's all there I'm saying. Go. 
So yeah, um, so really right now I have five, uh, 10,000 subscribers, what it really means mm -hmm. as far as YouTube uh, cares. Um, anyway, but thank you, K-Dubs, appreciate it. Um, Dear mister, I've got four fingers and think my shit don't stink. Stay gone all the time. Hanging out with these kings. <laughs> these, these these fucking kings, you that's what all men Everybody's tell. Everybody's a fucking king. Yeah. You uh, just and, can't and, come home. <laughs> exactly. Oh shit. That's true. I would like to see that scene though. Like he shows up at home. Like, I mean, she could be gone, she could be dead. <laughs> she could be like, Where the hell you been? Mr. Can you I see can't send the raven? <laughs> that's right. I don't even know where the hell you are. You never replied to my ravens. You know that I did send a, a damn dragon stone. Oh, shit. That's funny. Uh, okay, where was I at? I don't know. I had something, but lost it. Um, uh, okay, uh, Herb's got a question. Carol Graff. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. And Herb, uh, if Germ did decide to make a sequel book or allowed someone to make a sequel book a few years after spring... How would that make you feel? What would you want to see? I don't want, I, I wouldn't want to see it. I don't. Uh, once this is done, let it be done. You know what I mean? I don't want any posts, ice and fire stories. Just let it be. You do all the fire and blood history and side stories and even concurrent stories. You know, you could have concurrent stuff in SOs. You got a lot of time, a lot of years to play with. I, I don't think I'd want to see anything after. You know what I mean? Just give us a little tease. Yeah. Of what could be. Exactly. And, and let leave, our imaginations kick in. Exactly. And then we can theorize for a year or two on that. Mm -hmm. And then extend the YouTube channel before it dies completely. <laughs> so, the, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, I don't think I would want to see, I don't think I want to see anything after. Unless they screw it up really bad, and then they could fix it. But I don't think they could. I don't think they could fix it. Uh, Fishcox won. I think that's the, <laughs> the, the fist you're throwing up. Uh, welcome, Fish Cox. Uh, let's see. Yes, Jack Coogan. Yes. We oh, you are. can't you can't see through that, can you? Let me see if I can lower it. If I can still hear. We are thinking the Golden Company will betray Cersei to support Aegon, John. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that will. Yeah, they will break their contract for the right thing, and that's kind of the. I think that's the build up for the contract, for sure. Um, let's see, Omar Williams, why do you feel, thank you, Omar, uh, why do you feel a big betrayal, why do I feel a big betrayal coming in season eight, I think, to Danny Q&A, please? I don't. A lot of people do, I, Omar, so you're not alone Yeah, there. you're definitely not alone. A lot of people think Varys, um, I think Varys is the biggest one in Tyrion. Uh, here's why, yeah, and those, are those are, and even Masande, I've heard people question. Oh, that's question. right, we have had because there's Because there was a cut scene where she says, please never betray me or something, but yeah. I don't, I don't buy Masande. So I'll address uh, what I think about the Varys thing again, and um, um, I Tyrion. think Tyrion, I guess, but Tyrion, people are worried about the look. Yep. And, and I, I said that earlier, I think that was just a look of, you know, you got to think about the future. When you die, you still have to build this world and break the wheel, blah, 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 and it's going to complicate things. So that's all that was to me. I don't think there's any like secret plan. He can't go say, Cersei, you know, um, your child will be the heir. He can't do that, and he wouldn't do that. Um, he would ask her before he did anything like that, I think. I think he's that loyal to her. So I, I don't buy the, 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 the Tyrion look, um, but as far as... You know, I can't see. Var I don't understand why Varys would all this time from season one be in plans uh, with Illyrio to to bring her over in Aegon in the books, and which will end up being Danny, yeah. I'm sure. And then all of a sudden betray her. It doesn't make any sense. Once you got everything lined up, yeah, like you, you did all it. this stuff, yeah. and probably stuff we don't know about right. to make this happen, uh, even in the books for for Aegon, and then you're gonna betray her. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would he do all that just for fun? And also, um, he he knows because they had that talk. I mean, he knows his mm. life is on the line. Yes, right and I think that talk for me sealed it. Yeah. Like it was like, no, I'm not. Look, I I expect no less. If I would screw you over, you'd burn me alive. And he don't want to die. Trust me, he right. don't want to die. He 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 he's the guy who goes in the corner, hides, and then he pretends he was on your side the whole time. Right? Because he'll tell you he's not a hero. 
And At least he's honest. I'll say this about a, like in that sense. Anyway, about Tyrion, too. he doesn't want to die. No, no, no. And yeah. and and you got to think if if Tyrion betrays Danny, it's it's going to be to go back with Cersei and be on Cersei's side. Uh, that would be yeah, there'll be no other the thing. Only way. Okay, the only way. so we've already seen him kill his fucking dad. You know what I mean? He yep. his his family loyalty only goes so far. I mean, Jamie and he, they do still have a connection, but right, right. Um, Cersei, I think the only thing that remotely has her in his corner at all is the baby in her stomach. Yes. Um, yep. So I don't, I'm not saying he wants to see her tarred and feathered or flayed or anything. Right. Uh, I think he would not betray Danny to go and be on Cersei's side. I agreed. I do think there will be a little bit of drama. Like, you know, Danny may say, look, I got to go take this. I got to take her out. She's caught. She's not sending no help. She lied. And he's going to be like, no, you really yeah, don't. Yeah, you know, that, I could see that, that. There's definitely that drama, but uh, not a full fledged betrayal. No. And also, Omar is asking about Jorah. I, I couldn't see that at all. Jorah will straight up die for her. He, yes, he is will. absolute friend zone in love. And that's all there is to it. That ain't going to change. I mean, in my opinion, uh, I, I just don't see any evidence of Jorah betraying Danny ever. Again, it'd be totally shocked. Yeah, you know? it, it, right. It would be, it, for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, what we got here? Okay, let me say this. And I hate to stay on Omar, but it says uh, Jorah has nothing to lose, though, now. No family, no Danny. Yeah, when he looked back uh, there on the beach, he knows Danny's totally out of the question now as long as Jon Snow's alive. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the, the, but there's a chance now. If Jon is the one that dies, yeah, I could see, and Jorah lives and Danny lives, um, I could see him maybe them them living together down the line. Oh, I, him I, trying I, to slide him back in. Yeah, if, if, but he yeah, knows but if the, Jon's the, alive, he don't have a but chance. But I think the uh, I think he almost gave the blessing when, when he, he had when sword. he gave him the sword about and let him keep the sword. Said, "May it serve you and your children." Sure. So yeah. I, I think that was yeah. I think that kind of sealed that deal for sure. Um, let's see. Derry's saying uh, end game. Arya slash Gendry, Winterfell. Sansa slash Tyrion, Cassidy Rock, Bran, uh, Sam, Citadel, King's Landing, Council, uh, John, Danny, J- D- Danny, John, Jamie. Oh, you're saying King's Landing and the Council with Danny, with Danny, John, and Jamie, and Bran gets the twins. I definitely could see Bran getting the twins. Yeah, you said that last because week because he said I'll double it. Uh, Tyrion, whatever they pay you, I'll double it. That's right. Uh, and of course, he's kind of with Jamie, and now he Jamie will show up in Winterfell, but Bronn will end up leaving. I'm sure. I'm, I, I think he'll probably follow him or meet him on the way. Um, I don't know. I would. The fanboy in me wants Arya and Gendry to to end up together, like she becomes a lady, even though she didn't plan on mm-hmm. it, because she loves him. Like it's got to be legitimate. It's not planned. It's not, yeah. you know, forced marriage type thing. So I would like to see that. Sans and, and Tyrion? But hold um, on. If so, do you agree Winterfell? Uh, yeah. 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 I, well, I don't know. You could see Storm's End. I could see Storm's End, too. Like, bringing back House Baratheon into the hey. fold. It doesn't. I don't think okay. they'll. I don't think they'll necessarily have to follow the traditional roles where they stay at the man's place. Right. But at the, at the same time, Arya may want to experience that. Sure. You know. So uh, I I would say Storms in, Sans and Tyrion. I would love for that to happen. I would too. Cause um, I've always wanted Tyrion to get Casterly Rock. Yes, it, because he asked for it. Yeah. The rightful heir and all that stuff. Now that goes to, begs the question: Would Sansa, if they are in love, would she be willing to go to Castle Rock, or would she want to stay in Winterfell? I think I could go either way. I do too. So uh, either way, I'm fine with that. But um, and I think Tyrion would be flexible. I think Tyrion. Yeah, I mean, if it's love, if it's you know, love, if yeah. it's love, it's love. Um, Bran and Sam uh, Citadel. Uh, so yeah, I mean, could see Sam going back and maybe finishing, and you know, maybe we end up being an arch maester or something like that. Bran, I don't see necessarily surviving, so I don't know. Uh, but I don't think I think uh, probably not in a regular society. Right. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how he ends up if he ends up dead or Hodor like, <laughs> or depending on the magic thing. Um. So, but Sam for sure, and then King's Landing. You're saying the Council, Danny, John, Jamie. Uh, I don't see Jamie living. But yes, King's Landing. We'll see. I don't see John ever wanting to stay there. Though he's already said that. Like, yeah. if he becomes king, he's gonna change something. Uh huh. 
You know yep. what I mean? Uh, and and because he's first of all, he don't want to stay there. He wants to be in his in his home. And that's when he start her whether he's alive or they're both alive, whatever. They start to change things. Like you know what? I'm gonna go back to Winterfell, and then you're gonna rule here, and y'all gonna rule there, and we're you're gonna be separate kingdoms. Do what you want, elect who you want. Something like that's gonna come mm-hmm. up. Again, not overnight, but I think that's the way it goes down. And then Bron, yeah, I can see Bron getting the twins. Uh, pimp my dragon. That was fun. I don't know where. I don't know what context that's in, but that's funny. Uh, pimp my ride. <laughs> I used to watch that show. I did too. Oh uh, man, MTV Cribs, man. Yeah, I loved Cribs. We too. we had an idea that's for right. Cribs style video. Yes, we, we, I, we gotta yeah, we gotta remember <laughs> what we're talking about. Yes, uh, Julie. That's what I was going to say, Julie uh, Reniger. Jamie has to, uh, the pages in the book have to be filled out, and Brienne's going to do it as the Queen's Guard, the the Lord Commander of the Queen's Guard. She will do that before they change whatever. She will be Lord Commander of the Queen's Guard. That's cool. Assuming it's or, or King, whatever you're going to call it. It's going to be John and Danny if they're alive. Yeah. She will have the authority to write in that book and fill out what Jamie d- did to go out in a blaze of glory and save. Probably Jon Snow. I like the idea of him, you know, if him being the rightful heir, not being the king slayer this time and saving the king this time. Mm-hmm. So I like, or whatever, or Danny too. Either one's fine. Uh, <laughs> Goonish tendencies. Uh, Smokescreen. Top three fighters in Westeros heading into season eight. Ooh, in season eight with so we're, we're not counting dead people. Well, no, I yeah, still, the ones heading into I still it. count. Well, still I still alive. count Barristan Selby because he's alive in the books. But if you're just talking about yeah, the show, show, I guess in the show you have to say um, you got to say John. He's, he's you got to say John say now John. because the other people he's have died. Proven himself over and over. Again. He has. Um, you got to say John. Um, I mean. Are we talking technical skills? Like, are we talking about just straight up skill? Are we talking about like, like, could you consider the mountain because he's so huge and strong? Right. So it depends on what we're talking about. But yeah, John, I'll go off technical. I'll go off, you know, technical. So like sword skills. There you go. So yep. uh, Bron, I'm sorry. Yes, that, that's exactly what I meant. Uh, John, Bron, Hound. Hound was in mine too. Yep. So the right left on the show. Yep. Uh, just if not dead people, not Sir Barristan. And I, and I and I think John Bron Brienne. Yeah, Brienne would right be right there. Yep. Absolutely be right there. Oh, and Arya. And Arya. And too. Arya. Yeah. So yeah, you really can't separate with because they. It's tough. Brienne and Arya tied essentially. Mm-hmm. They both would have died if that was real or whatever. Um. So yeah, I mean the Hound was beat by Brienne. So yeah, technically she would edge him out. I guess. Yeah. And he's also now injured, but he's still a badass. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess you could technically you'd have to put Brienne above the Hound because he, he she did win. I mean, that's right. They both that's, got their asses they, whooped. They, yeah, they did. But she but she did fall off the mountain. But I don't know. It's really close. Um. So yeah, I mean, we'll I'll say that I'll just put those in a group. You know what I mean? John, yeah. Bron, and then Hound, Brienne slash Arya. That that's kind of the same level to me. Now Arya, um. I wonder how, I wonder if she has any um, lingering issues with her stomach uh, stabs or whatever. Um, um, I mean, of course, that's just like a, a detail. Oh, yeah, that that's true. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That was, that was a little, but, that was one of the things that people, and I had an issue with too, like you get stabbed that much and twisted and then you fall in that yeah. nasty ass canal mm-hmm. and you just band-aid. They yeah. didn't, I mean, they didn't have Neosporin. Right. It wasn't like it was Sam mixing yeah, up Sam Neosporin. Sam hadn't invented Neosporin yet. That's right. Sam invented Neosporin two seasons later. Yeah. So, or no, he read it from a book. So it was actually invented. Uh, but would anyway. you say best ever is Sir Arthur Dane? No doubt. No doubt. Sir Arthur Dane by far second Sir Barristan Selmy in the whole story. Absolutely. No doubt. And, and let me say this, Nexus. Um... I didn't mind the dual wielding in the Tower of Joy. I thought it was badass. He doesn't dual blade oh, some wield. People didn't like. It? Yeah, some people because here's the thing: the Tower of Joy was a, a, a slight fever dream memory that and Ned thinks about it. Uh-huh. You don't get details, but Sir Arthur Dane carried Dawn alone, mm-hmm. and that's how he fought. I love the show's version of of, I did of, too. The, of dual blading. That was I did bad not know ass. That was an issue. It yeah, was I a big it. issue for books book readers okay. or some. I say should say book snobs. Okay. So I liked it, man. I'm telling you, I thought it looked cool as hell, and it was badass. And they had let people like 
experts suppose i guess you could have an expert in the 21st century of yeah, medieval fighting right, right. this studied swords play and all that but um because people always think why don't they just all attack him and kill him he's not that good no you can't you can't charge in there with four or six other people mm-hmm. or five in the show for six total yeah because you kill each other they're swords unless you're all poking which I see, is i guess is yeah. legit but yeah so it, they said it was actually a really good uh choreography Hoonja says you got to go back and read this. So I guess the chat got funny. So somebody said they're rolling. So evidently there's something funny been going on. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's happening. We'll here. definitely go back and read it. Yeah. Oh, we do got replay now. That's, That's right. right. I, I forget forgetting about the replay. Okay, Eric Eric Misham is dying. Uh, yeah. you know, be careful. Uh, what's happening? <laughs> Hoonja is rolling. Oh wait a minute. Are they doing shows? Because I saw how I met your aunt <laughs> instead of mother. Oh. For, okay, yes, they're doing Davos, Jordan, Tyrion, Star, and two and a half first men. <laughs> That's, <laughs> hey, y'all need to start this on Twitter. That's funny. You need to start this on Twitter with a hashtag like, you know, uh, a got, mm-hmm. modern got shows or something. <laughs> Some hashtag and tag me in it and start naming all these two and a, two and a half first men. I saw how I met your mother, aunt slash aunt. Uh, so yeah, that's what those. Yeah, I, I need. To, I'll go back and look at these when I, on the replay. <laughs> Proto yeah. Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> there you go, Proto Starsky. Oh shit, that's good. The veil. Oh man. All right, all right. Uh, careful, Thomas. I don't know what you're going. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, I guess uh, Amanda's taking care of that. Um. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Keeping up with the tower you, me, and Ancestry. <laughs> Keeping up with the tower Oh, shit. Oh, hell. Yeah, these would be funny. Y'all need to start this on Twitter, man. Start this on Twitter. All right, so it's like 110. Let's yeah. grab a couple. Of, uh, make Check everything. Grab one or two more. We'll get out of here. I know it's late, uh, and we're, we're, we're tired. I know you're tired. Um, let's see. Are we good there? Beat by the heat. Uh, yes, God. But we don't, we never get spring here. It goes straight from cold to freaking Team Dire Wolf. I saw somebody say, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Team Dire Wolf. Okay, so we're good there. I think we're good. I didn't miss any super chats. Any, I don't think we missed any more super chats. I know we missed That's Brooklyn and, and Brennan's earlier, but I think we're good there. And all right, so let's get a couple more. Benji, I see 50 Shades of Grey were as funny as hell. <laughs> Smug Dumpling, <laughs> outstanding <laughs> Smug good. Dumpling. And welcome, by the way, Smug. I don't recognize the name. Yeah, 50 Shades of Grey Worm, outstanding. <laughs> yes, y'all need to do this on Twitter, man. Put these start going, get a hashtag going, and tag me and all that. shit. That, that's funny. Yeah, I want to read them is. all. Uh, let's see. Benji has a question here. I've seen him post a few times. Sorry, Ben, I was trying to grab it earlier. Um, Q and A. I think John will either kill or ride Viserion uh, because, uh, yeah, kill or ride Viserion because of symmetry in the series since they are both ice and fire. What do y'all think? I live in Alabama, is which is why I say y'all. Hey, we say y'all. Yes, indeed. We y'all goes all the way up to what? Virginia? Yeah, I'd say. at least West Virginia. Yeah, y'all is yeah. That's normal. Don't no. That's not. That's normal. Um. That's interesting, uh, since he's kind of been both now. Hmm. Um, ha! Randy Somatsu. What? The Valerian Hillbillies. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, shit, that's great. Yeah, these are, these are. Uh, uh, yes, goodness, I saw the uh, the Celtics beat that ass today. That was outstanding. I love it. Oh, um, I didn't. Awesome. Yeah, the Cavs got their ass stomped. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, uh, Ben, I don't. I think. Um, yeah, I think. I think we will see. That's what I was saying earlier. There's going to be a a, a dragon battle midair, dance of dragon style, and they can just like the old dance with dragons tale with Adam Valerion. Yeah. They can both die. So both dragons can be injured or die or whatever at the same time or you know whatever. So it could very well happen. Um, uh, with, cause you know, it depends on the timing of Danny and the pregnancy. I don't think she's going to be pregnant during this. Cause I think she's got to be out there and wants to be a, ba- and that's what Tyrion's worried about. Mm-hmm. It's her putting herself out there and flying around dragons and shit. We've already seen them worried about it. But yeah, I mean, I think, uh, it, it's possible. Um, he's the one that makes sense, you know, for him to be one to kill 
with Sierra. Maybe he hops on Drogon or Rhaegal during that time. So I hope we get, I do hope we get John accepting. That's why I think he's got to find out. So he accepts what he is and then says, you know what? I got to get on this fucking dragon because something's got to happen where like, I got to go. Right. Uh, I got to go kill him or save him or her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's that. why I think I he's got to find out. So it's a good thought for sure. All right. Uh, Homer demand. Why doesn't Danny wear armor? I totally agree. I've said it since last season. I said, uh, and with all their money and time this year, they need to put some dragon armor up in here. They need dragon armor because we saw what happened with the uh, ballista, right? Or is that mm-hmm. called a, is that a ballista? No, trebuchet. No, yeah, no, it was the scorpion. The scorpion. The yeah, scorpion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so if they don't... Look, just put some cool chest. You don't have to have a whole everything. Just some chest armor. You know what I mean? Yeah. that's going... Because we've seen ice spears. You know what I mean? I don't uh, think it'd be cool. I want you to see that one and then that one. Yeah, so Smug Dumpling here, this yep. one up. Um, uh, I've commented a few times, Beastmaster Ferret Drones, been <laughs> sub for a while. Thanks for the great content. I remember that. Yes, yep. Beastmaster. We were talking about that the other week. Yep. I was asking, we were talking about Beastmaster and Manimal. Yes. Because nobody seemed to, like I was wondering if Manimal was one of those damn <laughs> effects where like only I remember the show. Like Mandela effect. Mandela yeah. effect, exactly. Yes, that would be cool. Uh <laughs> Thank you so much, Smug Dumpling. Appreciate it. Uh, glad. Thank you for the support. And uh, John Haymaker. Uh, I, okay, John Haymaker says, I started uh, Game of Thrones movies or TV on Twitter. Uh, okay, great. So, John Haymaker, use this hashtag, Game of Thrones, hashtag Game of Thrones movies or TV yes. on Twitter. Yes. That will be fun. If you guys do that shit for, uh, for fun, for real, tag me in them. Just, I want to read them all. Dang right. Absolutely. That'd be cool. Thank you. Thank you, John Haymaker. So, yeah. Thank uh, you. Hashtag Game of Thrones movies or Judge TV. Judge Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Danny. Uh, let's see here. Gross court. Uh, hello, uh, Rania uh, from Greece. Welcome. Uh, can't watch you off to work. Thank you for stopping by, though. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, and hello, hello from the USA. Awesome to see people from all over the place. Very cool. The Crow's Court. <laughs> Starks and Recreation. <laughs> Recre- Starks and Recreation. That's cool as hell. Man, this is, yeah, y'all got to do this. Y'all got to go on there. I don't Dang know if everybody's it, got man. a Twitter account, but y'all got to do that and tag me in. And that's that's funny. That would be funny as hell. Um, let's see here. Okay. So let's grab one more go and we'll get out of here. We got to get out of here. It's 120. Hey, Cameo. About to head out, but What's welcome. What's going on, Cami? Uh, <laughs> Orders? Ha! Ah! <laughs> That's cow dogs. Orders. That's funny as hell. Oh, it? shit. I knew he was typing something. Uh, throne improvement. <laughs> Dude, yeah, these, these are, are so good. These are good. I'm telling you right now. Uh, Gilligan's Isle of Faces. Fucking <laughs> Randy, A, man. Randy Suimatsu. This is really yeah, yeah, good. Y'all, so we got some geniuses up in here, man. I'm telling you. Okay. There's, there's something. Okay, let's grab one more and we'll get out of here. Uh, Felix Liley, I think this is what you were pointing at, James? Yep. Uh, my theory is that Danny will call for the Great Council. I agree. I agree. There will be a council kind of like when Blood Raven did it. Uh, that Rhaegar wanted. Uh, yeah, and Rhaegar was going to do it after the tourney. Um, and people will elect John instead of her. She may refuse to be his queen and return to Essos' thoughts. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think once they fall in love, I think I can see her completely. Because they'll be together. Yep. You know, there'll be a king and queen. Like, she didn't plan on having a king, but with, they love each other. She don't care. Um, so I think uh, I think they'll be together uh, if they both survive. But I don't see her... I just don't buy the idea of her doing all this and coming to Westeros and putting, losing a dragon over the Night King, seeing what's there, seeing the people, falling in love, becoming... You know, people start to... People learn who she is, like we're going to see in Winterfell... And her just like taking off the Essos because she's mad. I, I don't I don't see it. So I, I don't think so, Felix. Just my opinion. I um maybe a book thing, but I don't I don't see that either, especially when they get Aegon and her combined or out of the way or whatever happens. So uh yeah, I, I definitely see uh like we said before, changes with some election type things, but not overnight. Um, but I don't I don't see her refusing him. Um I think she it will be drama. She will be like pissed off, like, wait a minute, are you kidding me? I did all this shit, and here's somebody that 
he is technically the heir over me. And yeah. but but then it's also about changing the rules about the the woman or yeah. you know the first it son, like the that. son, yeah. son. So that's what's going to come into it too. And John will be perfectly willing to change the rules because he don't want to do it. But again, if they both survive and they're in love, he will sit with her. You know, because he they're in love. It's not a forced marriage type thing. So anyway. Um, they're still naming shows. The Boat Bang Theory. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. White Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's outstanding. Good one, John Haymaker. Yeah, Touched by a Night King. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, let's see. Uh, Big Bang bo- Bang Boat. <laughs> T- the the Long Tonight Show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fractured. Shit. That's great. Good one. Yes, please go on Twitter and put all these up. I want to see all these, man. I'll watch the replay, too, but. All in the Lannister family. Uh, t- Terry T, thank you. Uh, or you're talking to them. We're not funny. They are in the in the comments. She said, you guys are so damn funny. Yeah, Casterly no. Heels, 90210. <laughs> Casterly Rock, 90210. Yeah, Casterly Rock, 90210. Yeah, there you go. You got one. Uh, Felix smoking the Jon Snow Kool-Aid. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Here's the last one from A.A. Ron, because... <laughs> A.A. Ron. What is A.A. Ron? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you think, Q&A, do you think Ned Stark bloodline and honor could spread through all the houses of Westeros that could be sweet ending? Last book was called A Time for Wolves. That was true. Yeah, he was going to have the, before it was another book, it was going to be A Time for Wolves. Hmm. Um, I don't know about the bloodline. I think that's probably part of the bitter part of the thing as far as the houses. We talked about this before. Uh, Danny's, I think Danny and John's kid is the future. Where you got a combined house, so these two yeah. magical families, and some people could actually—we said that before—they could actually use something like Stargarian. They've done that before. I mean, you know, like think think about Car Stark. It came from Stark, you know. Right. So um, I don't know about the the bloodline thing, but honor coming back and like chivalry and like Jamie coming turning around kind of hints at that a little bit. I can see a little bit of that, but you're always going to have assholes. Uh, so I mean. Maybe, maybe kind of a re, you know, knights having a meaning again, or the vows and stuff like that. Even though they need to change some, because uh, you, because Jamie's absolutely right. You can't uphold them all. You're if you do one, you're breaking another one. It's true. Yeah. It so is. yeah, I mean, I can see some changes to that, but we'll, I think it also fits into the kind of the style of government and whether they have their own armies or you know that kind of stuff. Bron in order. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, all right. So we'll get out of here. Um, Thank you, guys. I'm going to check Crow that out. Zan. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Uh, thank you, John Haymaker. I'm going to go look. We get off here on Twitter. It says it's true trending. What? It says it's trending. Is it really? Are you shitting me? Are you are, that, that fast? so cool. Man. I got to go look at that for real. Yes, if you're on Twitter. Married with bastards. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Y'all got to put these on there. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, I hope you're tagging me in this shit so I can see it. Um, Hold on. Go one up one. I thought I saw something about Quantum Leap or something. Uh, Kyber Leap. <laughs> <laughs> Kyber Leap, Omar. Uh, or somebody else said it. Uh, behind the Green Seer's door. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Uh, married married with children, slash, or dot, 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 uh, ellipses, who are born and live and, die, and all die in darkness. <laughs> Rhaegar Ruby. Oh, uh, who did I say Kyber Leap? That's funny. That's Look at that. Oh, well, Stark here, Tank. Stark Tank. I was, I was going to Is say. Is that what you were reading? I was going to say it. Oh, that's funny. Because we, we were talking about that's earlier about show. shows. That's our show. The only other one besides Lucifer that I watched, I was going to say. Star- Somebody cool. stole it. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right, Homer. You got it. You said it first. I was going to say it. I was I was coming with that. Oh, Boy Meets Westeros, a- Amanda Kane. Yeah, this is great. This it is outstanding. Get huge, uh, man. I Put it on Twitter. Tag me. Throw in a video link or something so everybody knows what's happening here, Shamed where it comes from. Shamed by the bell. What? Shamed by the that bell. That is so crazy. These Perfect. are so good, y'all. They are outstanding. The Night King Rider. Oh, Damn, who okay. job. Good one. Damn. <laughs> John and Danny Love Island. Kyber Notice. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Shamed by the bell is great. <laughs> Uh, a Song of Ice and Fire, Breaking Bad. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Jeremy Battersby, that's what we were saying earlier. I do watch Lucifer, and uh, they canceled it. Yeah, dude, that's sad. Uh, I don't know if you saw the season finale of season three, but they teased season four. 
I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a good episode, and I think they would have. Um, but we'll see if somebody picks it up. They, uh, they're going to uh, possibly pick that up on a different network. White Club. Oh, Damn, oh, wow. that's, that's awesome. Cool. That's cool. Rough Girl, thank you for the super chat. Welcome. We're fixing to get out of here, but thank you. Hey, from Ghetto Memphis. <laughs> oh, she's in Tennessee. Oh, Rough shit. Girl's in Tennessee. Uh-oh. All right, all right. Let's say the teenage war. <laughs> Damn, they, they own it. They like on top of this shit. This is so good. Oh lord, that's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out Twitter on there for sure. Uh, that would be cool if it really get that trending. Damn. Uh, so yeah, uh, link all that. Ta- uh, tag me and all that shit. Where Golden it comes from? Company girls. I I gotta quit reading these out loud. Yeah. These are so good. <laughs> yes, y'all. that's great. It's outstanding. So anyway, all right, really going to get out of here. It's one thirty, but thank you guys so much. These are so fun. I mean, that shit's fucking outstanding. I'm gonna go look on Twitter. Uh, yes, use that hashtag that Chris G here. Let me let me let me paste that too. Uh, if you if you're not on Twitter, get on there. It's a good time. Heck use yeah. this hashtag and tag me and all that shit, so yes. they'll know where it comes from. Oh shit! I, I, there it goes again. I'm screwed. I time myself out. Um, That's funny. <laughs> So yes. Anyway, use that. That we'll we'll have fun with that for sure. We'll keep going. That could go for days and days. Yes, it could. Um, be careful, Goonish. Uh, Goonish Tennessee's Nightbot grabs you if you have too many caps. But yes, thank you, thank you, Hoon Job. Thank you to all thank the patrons. Really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, fuck the nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, girl, we gotta stop. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm Zuma, that's outstanding. <laughs> No, that's great. I'm going to read it. Put all these on Twitter, please. Please, please. do. Please. But, uh, my three dragons. Yeah. I keep, you keep seeing them. It's I, so I got to look away. I this got, is all the right, best, guys. dude. This is the best, y'all. It's outstanding. Dude, the people that hung around to the end of this one, they got a treat. Yes, yes. I'm going to have to cut this part off and put a separate video. Like, do uh, it. Or something. Yes. Uh, anyway, yes. And I'll, I'll, I'll link it up with the hashtag and everything. Hell yeah, man. So, yes, we're going to really get out of here. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Thank you, moderators. Really appreciate all your work. They don't do it for they do it for free. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone on Patreon. Got some new Patreons this week. Uh, again, if you're interested in Patreon, uh, this keeps this channel going and growing because YouTube is not. Uh, there will be new stuff coming to Patreon. We were talking about the book stuff. There's going to be some, you know, book stuff. There's going to be some executive producer meetings on a monthly basis where you literally have a a say in this channel and other things and other projects. So if you're interested there, all these links are in the description, patreon.com slash smokescreen bids. All the current money from Con of Thrones since I was going is now going to ProtoCon, like we mentioned. That's going Great. to happen in 2019. If you're interested in the, uh, this is the box we opened earlier. Again, from um, CultureFly, those links are in the description um, to go to CultureFly. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a quarterly box. Um, and uh, it does do, give a kickback. Full disclosure, it does support the channel. I get a little kickback from every subscription, so that is there. But uh, in the description, uh, along with Patreon, and all the other stuff as well. So you're the, the Lion, Lion Queen. Queen Lion that Queen. is so witty, man. Uh, it is. It is. There. Yeah, we, we're about to get out of here, House Sanchez. We got. We got to. <laughs> they just keep coming. Please put these on Twitter. I'm gonna go check it now. I want to. I don't know how to, what it takes to get a hashtag trending on Twitter. That's pretty damn big. That is awesome. Uh, but yeah, please tag me in these. Uh, I want to see it. Um, uh, let's see. Forty-two. Yes, new video. You will be a hundred k. Shit. I don't know about that. But yeah, I'll, I'll cut this off. This this part and uh, and put it up there and let the chat Next replay. Those gladiators. Uh, that's 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 good stuff. So yes, these are so fun. You know, I'm telling you, we, we me and James said a lot, but. Sundays are a lot of work sometimes, and we're we're coming from a bunch of shit going on the weekends, and then it's yeah, like, right. eh, should we stream tonight? I don't really feel like it, but then we're, we're just it makes our night. I'm telling you. So I know James has said it before. It's almost like, um, you know, it's it's therapy, it is. and it goes both ways. Damn so I'm right, so man. glad to be able to, to. I love you guys, and so glad to be able to hang out. And I know a couple people mentioned, you know, it makes uh, something a little easier, and it, it goes both ways. So anyway, it sure does. It really does. So fun. So thank you everybody. Thank you mods. Thank you everybody. Really appreciate it. Again, check out Patreon if you're interested. If you're not already, uh, there'll be some definitely some. Uh, and thank you. Welcome back, Chris G. I'm glad you were back tonight and a couple other people. But uh, yeah, definitely check out Patreon. There's gonna be some new exclusive stuff coming and the book stuff coming 
and I'm going to start releasing little pieces of that, and then we'll get some kind of, figure out something, release some bigger chunks, and I need some real feedback uh, as I get more uh, written. So, anyway, all right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out uh, this week. Look out for some more question of the day videos. Uh, maybe a maybe we'll do a old style Q and A. Maybe I'm not that sure. That would be fun. We need yeah. to do that for sure. And um, uh, maybe I'll figure out something on Westworld and uh, Cobra Kai. And I think that needs to happen. We'll, we'll probably Kai look into the Cobra Kai thing a little yeah. bit. Um, it's it's really good, really good. So anyway, anyway, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on Twitter next time. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.